Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to another live stream where we're gonna be doing a little bit more Tiny Sasquatch, of course. We've been trying to build this world here uh, quite a lot in the past uh, few weeks, I should say. Past few months especially, I've been putting a lot, a lot of work into this one. And uh, currently, it is looking so much better than it used to, or I should say so much better than I ever expected. Especially this ranger station area that I've uh, finished building up lately. Uh, this is something that uh, it took me, I think, the most time to try to figure out, especially doing the logic here, trying to get uh, all these rangers to chase me and uh, get everything to work properly. But currently, me personally, I'm really, really happy with the result of this. And uh, I'm really hoping that you guys are going to be uh, liking uh, what you're about to see in today's live stream. Uh, we are going to be uh, going with this uh, build today, trying to uh, build up a few more things into the game. Uh, trying to get this game as close as possible to the world of Sneaky Sasquatch that we all know and love. And uh, of course, if you guys uh, really have other ideas that you can tell me, make sure you all uh, let me know down in the comments below or just simply tell me those ideas in other uh, Tiny Sasquatch videos that uh, I keep on posting because every single live uh, stream is going to be posted as a video. So uh, yeah, that being said, let me just start up with showing you guys what I've been working on in the Rage Station here. I still have uh, just a few more elements to add on this area, such as uh, such a few, just a few signs. Uh, we do have some birds flying about. Uh, I just have to change the path for these birds because at the moment they kind of fly only in this uh, regional area over here. But I want to be able to uh, have them visible a little bit more than they are right now. But I'm currently loving the birds, the way they just fly about. Um, they just make the game feel, uh, the, the, the world here feel more, more alive, of course. And another thing that we have going on, as guys know, we have a ranger sleeping inside the cabin over here. Of course, this is going to be part of the mission. Part of the mission where we are supposed to wake up the ranger in order for the fox over here to give us a reward, I guess. Uh, we did manage to animate the reward, the, the fox. The fox is going to show up. He's going to tell us about the mission that we're just about to do. Once you finish up the mission, of course, go inside and actually not really go inside, but more like sneak inside uh, the cabin because if you don't sneak inside the cabin, you're not going to be able to do this. Uh, as you guys see right now, guys, I can actually make my way inside the cabin, inside the ranger's uh, cabin over here without a worry in the world. But if I stop sneaking, boom, he wakes up and he is going to catch me, of course. Because we are really, really close to him. And this is something I worked hard on animating, trying to get him to wake up properly, uh, chase me up properly. And as soon as they catch me, I also had to make sure they're going to reset. All the system here is going to reset. And uh, we're going to have to do this all over again. It is one of the uh, most insane ideas that... Uh, actually, one of the most uh, difficult logics that I have to implement into the game so far. But I'm currently loving it, absolutely loving it. Uh, another thing that I uh, figured out how to do, and this is something I just didn't find on Dreams, I managed to make puddles. Um, for example, here's one right here. You can guys see that it's making the sound of the puddle. It's, it's looking like a puddle, and it's also having the effect of us uh, creating like some ripples as we're running through the puddle. And I'm really, really happy with the result of the puddle so far. And we'll definitely start implementing the puddle here on Mortal Dwell location, especially in the city. But uh, yeah, so far I've uh, applied it a couple of places uh, just to kind of make the world look like it has been raining in this area. And now that the rain has stopped, uh, it did leave some puddles around. And of course, we are going to have a ranger protecting the area. Um, not quite sure what that guy didn't want to chase me. Let's just get him to chase me then. Come on, buddy. <laughs> and one thing that I'm supposed to work on, as you guys can see right now, we have three rangers showing up whenever we're activating this. But whenever the rangers are jumping up, they are getting a lot of speed. And that's when they're going to try to catch us. That's, that's when they're going to be really, really fast. Um, me personally, I kind of like the idea of them chasing us like this, and whenever they're jumping up, uh, they're going to be a little bit more difficult to avoid. Uh, because I definitely don't want a game to be too easy, right? I just don't want to be able to activate the ranger here and then uh, simply hide in a corner until the timer is going to pass. Because there is going to be a timer once uh, we are going to activate everything there. But uh, currently, I'm quite happy with the result. Uh, another thing that we got to fix, as you guys have seen, that ranger in the distance there, the first one, for some reason, gets deactivated. After I activate him, he gets deactivated, and it's really hard for me to catch, uh, to get him to catch me, or at least um, get him to s keep on chasing me. So I think I'm supposed to increase his visibility a little bit. Whenever he's gonna see me, his visibility is gonna have to increase so that he can he can keep up with me. Definitely gonna have to do that. Uh, Stanton, can you do the island? Rally is asking. Uh, I definitely can do the island. I don't think I'm gonna be adding it. Um, 
in this first phase of the game because I still have so much more work to do in the game here and so many more things. Uh, as you guys know, I'm, um, I'm really loving details in the game. So because I keep on adding all these details to the game, it just uh, prolongs the date, of course, of me uh, trying to release the game eventually. Uh, I'm still working on quite a couple of things and I still want to add a couple of things, such as, for example, as you guys can see right now, Sasquatch is doing these idle poses, these idle uh, animations. Whenever I'm not controlling the Sasquatch, whenever I'm not just not moving, I'm just holding the controller in. Uh, Sasquatch is going to be doing these idle animations. And these ones took quite a bit to animate, but they are pretty fun to do, pretty easy to do as well. And I do feel like it kind of makes the world feel a little bit more alive when Sasquatch just simply animates on its own. For example, right now he's falling asleep uh, because we're not controlling it, right? And I kind of really, really like these small animations and small details. So although these details are bringing us uh, a lot of... Um, I guess they're making the world feel more alive. Uh, they're also taking a lot of time, which I'm not going to complain about. Stanton, will you ever add running shoes? Yeah, Solar, I'm actually thinking about adding uh, running shoes, and whenever we're going to be able to do that, uh, Sasquatch is going to gain a little bit of extra speed, of course, if he's going to have the shoes on. It's pretty easy to actually uh, get the shoes on, and I think since you went ahead and asked about it, let me just make my way over here into our Sasquatch save. And just add some shoes on. Of course, I'm not going to add any logic to the shoes just yet. Uh, these are just going to be visible things that I'm going to be adding to a Sasquatch. And let me see. Of course, we can go ahead and try to design the shoes for Sasquatch. Or uh, we can simply go into the Dreamiverse, into the assets created by other Dreamers. And go for shoes over here. And look at that, these shoes actually look pretty good. But let me see if you have any other shoes that may work with... Uh, I mean, this shoe kind of looks pretty good, to tell the truth. Uh, let me see if it's also got... Uh, oh, you know what? I think this shoe is really perfect because I think it may also have uh, the mechanism into it so that it moves properly, right? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure if it does have the mechanics. Uh, I could either add a shoe to Sasquatch or simply draw the shoes on its already um, feet. Although, let me see how we can do this right. Uh, we have to add the shoes in two parts, right? Because the, the feet of the Sasquatch are made into... Uh, actually, I think they're made of three parts. Let me scope into the, sh the shoes here. Actually, yeah, it's made out of two parts, right? We got this part, which is the top part of the uh, foot. And then we got the back part of the foot. So if I get a shoe, I got to split it in two sides. Because whenever Sasquatch is going to be stepping, uh, he's going to be using his shoe, his feet. Uh, we want the, the shoes also to animate uh, along to uh, his uh, animation of the foot, right? So you guys said that we got to bring in the sneakers. I do feel like these sneakers are probably the best ones that we could add. Um, of course, we have quite a lot of shoes that we could try to use here. Uh, I don't really want, like, really, really complex ones. Adidas, superstar shoes. Look at that. <laughs> Legendary Psycho. Welcome, buddy. Welcome to the live stream. Will I add the custom campgrounds? Uh, custom campground? What do you mean custom campgrounds? You mean the campground that you're able to customize yourself, uh, the house? Uh, because if that's what you're asking, I'm guessing you're trying to ask me if I'm going to allow players to change uh, the look of the houses. Goofy shoes. Look at these shoes, though. These ones also look pretty good. <laughs> Alright, let me go with uh, a pair of shoes here that I'm going to probably try to use into uh, the game. Um, let me increase the... There we go. The sound a little bit for the music. I was hoping to have some shoes that also have the um, cut already applied to them, right? So they animate properly with the feet of Sasquatch. Although I don't think they are going to be animated or more like properly cut out. I wish it was a Formula 1 car in Stinky Sasquatch. <laughs> mm. We got the Sonic shoes as well by the looks of it. Look at that. I don't really like the look of them, though, to tell the truth. I kind of, I think I kind of like these ones the most. These ones kind of look like uh, what we really, really want. So I think I'm just going to use these ones. Uh, let me see how much graphics. I mean, they are using minus three graphics, which is quite a lot. I was hoping for a shoe that only has, like, maybe 
one graphic in the thermal uh, that we gotta work with because I really don't want to waste too much thermal with these shoes, right? As most of our uh, as most of our scene already, uh, they're kind of using a lot of graphics. Is there? Uh, Will he keep updating the game? Uh, I guess I can keep updating the game, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I just gotta wait and see how it's gonna be received by the community, and uh, if they're gonna like it, I guess. I'm gonna keep on adding more things to the game. I'll keep on updating it. Keep on adding uh, multiple locations and multiple scenes that you can uh, explore in the future. Um... So there are quite a few shoes, as I was saying, but I was looking for some shoes that only take, like, one graphics. Although I just can't find any. I guess what we could do is just grab the first shoes. And then what I'm going to do with those shoes, I'm just going to reduce their graphics quality. The game is not going to be playable on PC. This is only going to be playable on the Mac, on the uh, PlayStation, because it is going to be, uh, it is created on the Dreams, right? And Dreams is only available for the PlayStation. Alright, let me go ahead and grab me this shoe. Uh, let me also go ahead and, before I add the shoe in, let me get that on. There we go. Let me jump into this shoe over here. Do I like Sonic? Oh, to tell the truth, I'm not really a huge Sonic fan. Really not a huge Sonic fan. Alright, let's see how this shoe is gonna fit, Sasquatch over here. I have a feeling this shoe might be a little bit too big for his feet, though. Let me just try to figure this out. So, if I try to put this shoe on... Mm, feels a little bit too big, yeah, for sure. <laughs> definitely, definitely a really, really huge... Uh... Mm, I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like it. I think these shoes may be a little bit too big for Sasquatch's... Uh shape over here and I really don't want to get a shoe that's gonna make uh, Sasquatch's foot way too big so maybe I'm gonna go with uh, the Sonic shoes yeah maybe we are gonna choose the Sonic shoes eventually so let me get this one over here for a second just to try to see if it's gonna fit with Sasquatch and then I'm gonna figure out if I want to use a different one or not I mean the only issue I'm having with uh, this the Sonic shoe here is that it's kind of pointy Now, in today's live stream, I was trying to uh, work a little bit on something else, and that something else, of course, is going to be the um, campgrounds, the RV campground, more like. Uh, let me get this tool over here. I'm just trying to, posi to position the shoe and see how it's going to look uh, on Sasquatch. Hmm. I mean, I guess that could work. Uh, one thing that we got to figure out on the uh, shoe here. I think I will have to cut it in two. So that, as I was saying, when Sasquatch walks, uh, this front piece also moves like a little bit. Uh, like we usually have it moving, right? When we're stepping on something. I wish Rack would add multiplayer. <laughs> yeah, multiplayer for Stinky Sasquatch would definitely be something that most people would want to see for sure. All right, so at the moment, if I add the shoe on, just like that, for example, uh, if I just go ahead and make... No, that needs to be visible. I just need to make it invisible a little bit. And let's just test the shoe out like that, right? So as you guys can see right now, the shoe is kind of working, actually. Yeah, we do have a shoe on. So we can definitely easily add the shoes just like that, as you guys can see. It is a little bit too pointy. Um... For my taste, for a shoe, I really don't use, uh, I don't wear shoes that are so pointy. But this is how you simply add the shoes on Sasquatch. And of course, all I can do uh, is just make it invisible and just activate the visibility on the shoe whenever we're actually picking them up. So it's pretty easy to actually implement the game. But yeah, so far, we know how to add the shoes on Sasquatch and they are working pretty well, to tell the truth. Yeah, it's pretty easy to add the shoes on. Interesting. 
But again, I don't know if that's going to be the shoe that I'm going to be choosing for Sasquatch just because I don't really like the uh, look of it. Of course, I can jump into the shoe design over here and make it a little bit bulkier, right? Because at the moment, as I was saying, it was a little bit too pointy for my taste. There we go. We made it a little bit bulkier. Get these ones a little bit bulkier as well. And now, if I test the shoe, look at that, definitely looks a little bit better now. So yeah, getting the shoes on Sneaky Sasquatch is definitely going to be pretty easy to do. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go with the shoe that we just applied here because I'm not really happy with the result of it. I'm probably going to work on that a little bit more. And if not, I'm not going to be happy with the result of the shoe eventually. I'm probably going to have to make my own. Uh, another thing that I added into the game is going to be the rabbit because you guys told me something as we started up the uh, today's live stream. You guys were asking me about shoes, right? And because you guys asked me about the shoes, um, what I'm going to be doing here, I'm also going to be having the rabbit showing up into the game, as you guys can see right now. And this fella, this little fella is going to give us a mission. And the mission, of course, is going to be about us trying to win a few races here with the rabbit. And once we win those races, we're going to be getting the uh, shoes activated on Sasquatch. And once you get those shoes on, of course, we're going to be speeding up a little bit faster, being able to run a little bit faster. So uh, this is something I also added over here. Uh, at the moment, the this Discussion on him uh, is just a copy paste from the bears you guys can see I haven't managed to add the quest line on him just yet I will add that later on in the uh, as we keep on going here with the build But uh, I just wanted you guys to see the little bit rabbits that's gonna be waiting for us here So while uh, he gets some missions from us And of course I also worked on adding some coins as you guys can see right now these ones can actually be collected And we also get the animation of the coins in the uh, top left corner there uh, telling us how many coins we collected. I also animated that one to fade in and out so that we know um, I mean we can also go ahead and press another button over here to see how many coins we got in our inventory uh, I'm not gonna be making a bank system uh, in Sneaky Sasquatch where you're gonna be able to store those coins somewhere You're only gonna have a pouch in your pocket I guess where you're gonna be able to store these coins and these are gonna be used to buy uh, certain stuff in the game And of course we have another coin over here. Oh, just like that. We got two coins now I'm currently Thinking of increasing the amount of um, coins we're getting, of course, from these ones that are collecting. So one of these coins is probably going to be valued at 10 coins instead of just one. Um, I guess we're going to have to wait and see for that. We have another one here in the water we can go ahead and collect. But of course, these are just random uh, locations that I just placed uh, so far to figure out how the game is going to look. And uh, if the inventory system is going to work the way I want it to work. Did I make this game? Yes, I did. Yeah, I definitely built this game uh, on my own. I, I think I've worked on this uh, for about one year, one one year plus, something like that. I don't have the exact amount of time that I did. Uh, but we also have the bear over here that's going to give us another mission. Hi, tiny one. Nice to see you decided to wake up eventually. Oh, uh, where are my manners? <laughs> I'm sorry, Sasquatch. I'm just really hungry. And you know how I get if I uh, don't eat. If you go searching for food, do you mind bringing me something, please? All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, you won't regret it. All right. So, of course, the bear is going to give us a quest over here. You guys are going to see the quest above his head. Uh, we're not going to be able to chat with him anymore because we don't have the food to give to him. And once we bring in the food, then he's going to give us something in return. Uh, I didn't manage to tie this up yet, so I'm not quite sure exactly what's going to happen. Now, one thing that I started working on here, as you guys can see at the back, uh, we are going to be able to go through another doorway over here. Uh, currently, this one hasn't been tied to anything, so it's just uh, pushing me outside of the game. But that one is going to be tied up to uh, the back area, like a back river, uh, behind our house, of course. So we're going to be able to go to the Mushroom Hunter. We are going to be building the Mushroom Hunter because I am planning on tying up the Mushroom Hunter somehow with the main quest. Uh, because I feel like I am going to need quite a little bit of a TNT in order to unlock other locations in the area. When will I play Sneaky Sasquatch live? Uh, not just yet. We're just waiting for the update for Sneaky Sasquatch. And then we're going to be starting up on working on that. And playing a little bit more Sneaky Sasquatch live. As we're going to be, of course, exploring the brand new uh, update in uh, Sneaky Sasquatch. Now, let me make my way back to the... Um, where is this one? I want to go back to the Rangers station. Because I have a few more details that we got to add there. That I completely forgot to add in the past. Uh, and these ones are, let me see here. All right, so we have to have the exit sign, right? So let me go ahead and grab me this one. Copy paste it to the uh, right side, which is going to be grabbed from over here.
Squatch update. Where Sneaky Sam Squatch update is just about to arrive. Uh, if you guys don't know about it, it's going to be a, a story mode update. The next update for Sneaky Sam Squatch is definitely going to be a story mode. So that is going to be the uh, next part in the game that we're going to be able to... Uh, uh, that we're going to be able to play next. Very, very soon, I'm pretty sure about it. Uh, the devs have been working on the latest update for Sneaky Sasquatch for quite a long time. But I guess uh, it's still not ready just yet, so they're not ready to release it just yet. Uh, let me get this one going like this, because this sign is going to say exit, right? Just like that. And it is going to say... Uh, this arrow is actually going to be pointing to the right side. So let me get this arrow pointing to the right. Let's go with UI. Arrow northeast. There we go. So this one's going to be pointing to the east. And this one's going to be saying... Exit. Alright, we got this one going. I think I want to have this sign also pointing with the same things... Um, nope, not this one, buddy. I need these two. Come on. <laughs> Sometimes copy and pasting in these signs doesn't want to work. There we go. We got it. And this one's going to be pointing, as I was saying, on this other side of it. Just like that, but we got to turn them around, I guess. Right. Let me switch their positions. So this one's gonna be saying exit, but this X is gonna be going right over here. And this one's gonna be pointing on the other side. As I was saying, details. I'm absolutely obsessed with details. That's why it's actually taking me so long to build this so far. And no, uh, this one's gonna say UI. And although I'm not 100% happy with the details that I put so far into the game, and I would have made it even better. Uh, no, not south, actually. West. Uh, I would definitely make it even better and add more details if I could. But if I keep on doing this, I'm never going to finish this game up. <laughs> For sure. Eventually, I do want this thing to be uh, released. Now, why is this looking so grayish on the back here? Hmm. I was hoping this would look a little bit bluish. Maybe it's because of the sun? Yeah, I think the sun is from that side, and that's why it's looking so weird. This one should be a little bit blue, right? So let me get this thing to look blue. On this side, it, look, uh, it looks a little bit more blue because of... Uh, the sun. Because of the shadow, actually, but that is fine. Alright, if I test it out now... So this is going to be the exit part. The arrow is aligned. The exit is all good. Yeah. Come on, buddy. I was just watching the exit sign there. Come on, buddy. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. We can actually lose that uh, ranger there quite fast. So I think what I'm going to have to do here, I think I'm going to have to increase its um, zone of impact. Will I ever update my game? I mean, as I was saying, I guess I will update the game eventually. If uh, you guys are going to enjoy the game and you want to see, you want me to uh, keep on making more stuff. And if you guys are going to be uh, watching the videos like crazy, similar to how much you guys are watching the Sneaky Sasquatch series, definitely going to probably bring in more updates to this one. But keep in mind, this little game here is going to be a pretty short game. It's going to be uh, having an uh, A to Z uh, end, right? It's going to be ending eventually. It's not going to be like Sneaky Sasquatch where you can play it constantly. Uh, I'm guessing at the moment we're going to have like a story mode where we're going to be able to complete the story mode. And once the story mode has been completed, uh, then the game is going to be over. But if you guys are really, really going to enjoy the game, I will then add more locations we can visit. And, gen and then just open up the game after you finish up the story so that you can keep on exploring. Ellie, welcome to the live stream, Ellie. Welcome, welcome. Alright, so we got the exit sign. Uh, let me fix up another thing that I just noticed over here, which are going to be the uh, electricity posts, right? These electricity posts should not be going all the way up here. Uh, let me actually unlock the electricity post. Remove that one. And one thing that I want to do here is remove this cable, but this cable is going to have to go inside the ranger station. So let me see if I can figure out how to move this one right.
All right, so this is going to go like that. Let me place it in position over here and see uh, where we can connect it to the station itself. Now, if I do that, I mean, it is connecting to the station. Oh, yeah, it is definitely going inside the station, which is great, uh, giving power to the station, but it's kind of going a little bit off. Of course, you're not going to be able to see that because Sasquatch cannot really see that high, but uh, since I am kind of obsessed with uh, details, I want to make sure that's going to look right. All right, so now we got the the post here connected to the ranger station. Perfect. Uh, if I make my way inside the station, of course, if you hold on to L2, that's going to allow Sasquatch to do a little bit of a uh, sneaky walk here. I feel like we are going to improve the sneaky walk because sneaky walk here is not really animating properly the way I want it. It kind of feels like Sasquatch is more like a zombie. <laughs> It's, he's walking more like a zombie than uh, sneaking around. Uh, so I am going to try to improve this uh, um, animation here a little bit. Connor, welcome, buddy. Welcome to the live stream. I mean, look at the ranger sleeping here. <laughs> if you sneak around, you're all safe. He's not going to wake up. Hey, buddy. Have a good, good night's sleep. <laughs> Oh my god, I love this. Uh, also, my game is going to have quite a lot of things hidden inside it. Uh, I'm thinking of adding um, some um, some collectible things that you're going to be able to find if you really explore the world. For example, if you go inside the uh, ranger's cabin over here and uh, look around inside the cabin there uh, a little bit better, you're going to be able to find some collectibles. I'm, I don't want to really spoil everything because I want people to just simply explore the world on their own. But uh, so far, that's kind of the idea, right? Maybe hide something on this table. Only if you make your way inside, sneak around, and grab the uh, thing from their table, they're going to be able to get yourself that collectible. Uh, at the moment, one thing that I want to do, I want to go inside the house and get me the table and the chair and bring these ones into the living room over here. Maybe just like that. Let me bring me the chair on this side instead. Rotate uh, 180 degrees like this. There we go. And maybe another one on this side with uh, 90 degrees this way. Will I add the electronic shop? No, I won't. Again, guys, you guys keep on requesting things that have been added in the latest update of Sneaky Sasquatch. Uh, it's kind of difficult for me personally to keep up with all these updates that are being thrown up in Sneaky Sasquatch. Just because the developers uh, are developers. <laughs> me personally, I'm not a developer. I'm not a game developer, so it would take me ages to uh, keep on creating these things. Uh, all I want to add right now is just make the main areas of Sneaky Sasquatch. Uh, just release the game with those areas. See how the game goes. If you're all going to enjoy it and you're going to want to see more like that, I guess. Maybe I'm going to make more in the future and add like updates. But currently, it's going to be like a minimal game. Uh, kind of only the first parts of the game that had been released uh, when the first came out. When the game first came out, and that's about it. Uh, the goal of the game is just to be like a fan game, nothing else. So I'm definitely not going to be uh, updating the game constantly as uh, the developers have did with their own. Maybe I'm going to be adding a few more locations uh, here and there. But uh, that's kind of about it. All right, let me go with a few po uh, plant pots right over here. Now, this one's kind of taking two for some reason out of the thermo. And uh, actually, it's only taking one. Never mind. It's saying plus two, but it's only taking one. Yeah, let's go with this one. Whatever. All right, there we go. We got it. Uh, next to what I want to do is make sure it's about 50% size and put uh, two of them in the house. Maybe a little bit bigger. Let's uh, give it 180% increase. When am I going to make uh, clothes? I don't think I'm going to be adding clothes in the game. Uh, that's something I'm still debating on adding. I'm not 100% sure if I want to add clothes in the game. Uh, currently, I am thinking of adding uh, some elements of clothes, right? Like hats. For example, I did add the uh, hard hat. For the sawmill because we need this saw the hard hat in order to go inside the sawmill we already did all the animation on all the logic for that 
Uh, I'm also, uh, of course, going to be adding the uh, Rangers hat that we're going to be able to use. I'm probably also going to be adding like a um, baseball cap on Sasquatch's head. Uh, that's going to allow him to kind of disguise himself as he sneaks around inside the camps. Um, yeah, but things like that. But I'm not going to be adding like clothes on. That's not going to be something I'm going to be adding to the game. It's not that it's hard to add, it's just that if I keep on adding so many things to the game, um, I'm never going to release the game eventually. <laughs> keep in mind, it takes a lot of time to animate these things and add it to the game. I'm not a game developer, I'm just making this as a fan base game, nothing uh, really special. I'm just making this out of passion, right? Uh, and I don't really want to go too deep into the details, because if I do keep on going too deep into the details, I'm probably never going to be ending this. And I do want to be able to eventually... Um, explore the uh, release this game so that we can all enjoy it. Uh, what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to make the plants here not collidable. Uh, just because if you do want to jump in the house, I guess, and you want to jump on top of the plants, uh, I don't want the plants to act weirdly. So I'm going to allow uh, Sasquatch to go through the plants here. That's why I'm uh, scoping inside them and deactivating the collidability. Apparently we gotta do this for every single one of these leaves. Or at least a batch of leaves. So now, if I grab Sasquatch, go inside. As you guys can see, we can now uh, go through the uh, leaves. Not through the pot, but only through the leaves. All right, so we got one flower pot over there. That's uh, in making the place here look a little bit better, I guess. Uh, let me get myself another one because we are gonna need maybe like another one over here. Now we are completely, completely done with uh, the ranger station. After I'm gonna be done with these flowers, I think that's gonna be all the details I'm gonna be adding um, inside the ranger station. Then we're gonna be moving on to the uh, RV camp, uh, to the RV camp. So that's gonna be staying over there. All right, look at that. Awesome, it works. Can you give the game for the year suburbs? The year suburbs? You mean members? Alright, I think uh, the house looks pretty good so far. It's definitely getting a little bit of character here. Um, we got the exit sign, we got the cable here. So these were just a few more details that we had to add to uh, this area. And I think now we're completely done. So we can easily just save this area and move on to the next. So let me save. I can't wait for the dog if it hasn't come out yet. <laughs> yes, I haven't added the dogs just yet. Uh, yes, the members. Yeah, I will definitely release uh, this game here firstly for the members to check out. Before it's going to be fully released, the members are going to have access to this game first. And then uh, it's going to be available for everybody else. But the members are going to get um, access to it a little bit faster. When are you going to add uh, the dog? Uh, that's not uh, currently in the plan, but I am trying to figure out how to do it. Currently, we can add the dog. Uh, I was actually testing it out with uh, a little ducky, and uh, I can actually have little characters following me. And uh, I can definitely add a dog as well. If that is something you guys would like to see me add in the game, have a puppy, let me know down in the chat below. Why not? All right, let's start up a brand new creation here. And what I'm going to be doing with this one, this one, as I was saying, is going to be the brand new area, which is going to be the uh, RV camp, right? Uh, if I switch to the camp two over here, you guys can see that I already have the uh, RV camp set up into uh, this other screen that I'm going to be trying to uh, reproduce. So we're going to be adding this one right now and see how that goes. Hey, Noah, welcome, buddy. Member for 11 months, 9 days, only 21 more <laughs> for one year. Thank you very much, Noah, for supporting the channel, buddy. You have definitely been a member for almost a year here, but uh, thank you very much for that, buddy. Uh, will I be making the workshop and workshop upgrades? Uh, you mean the the ones for the cars at the racetrack? All right, so we got a brand new scene over here. Uh, this one is going to be, of course, as I was saying, the RV camp. But let me choose this tool. Let me start up, of course, with um, oh, my nose is itching, uh, with some of my tiles, right? So we are going to have the following tiles. We're going to have the path tile over here. Uh, we're going to have the 
grass tile that we're going to be able to use, of course. I mean, the house upgrades with the construction duck. Yeah, I'm thinking about having some upgrades we're going to be able to do with the house. Uh, it's probably not going to be as detailed as we have currently in Stinky Sasquatch. It is definitely going to be a little bit less detailed. Uh, and what I mean by that, we're probably going to have to get ourselves uh, a few wood yeah, pieces. Yeah, no hair! Uh, <laughs> Hey, Legendary, thank you very much for that, buddy. That's really kind of you. Uh, so as I was saying, we are going to be able to get ourselves a few wood pieces from the sawmill, and we're going to be able to use those uh, wood pieces uh, in order to build up the house. But it's just going to be one upgrade for the house. It's not going to be allowing us to add multiple upgrades. Uh, it's just going to be one, and that's going to be it. Once you do it, then uh, we're going to be able to add a brand new house to the uh, campground. Uh, it shouldn't be that difficult to add. Uh, I, I just have to make sure I have enough... Um, thermo left right to be able to add uh, that feature to the game <laughs> does this count as a member it doesn't buddy sorry about that <laughs> you are saying uh somebody said uh, actually yeah you were saying that you got to be a member for, for a year but i thank you very much for the support buddy <laughs> that is definitely going to keep uh, helping me uh doing this of course and keep on building the game and offer you guys even more videos because you guys know I keep on making a lot of videos. Uh, lately, I've been a little bit sluggish with the videos. I haven't been posting uh, two videos a day because I was a little bit busy um, with uh, Sneaky Sasquatch here. But I promise you I'm going to start being a, a little bit better at it. I need help making games in dreams. Uh, yeah, making games in dreams, it's not easy, but that's kind of the reason I decided to make these videos as well, because I highly recommend uh, doing stuff in dreams. It's just so fun, and uh, it's so easy to do it. Uh, of course, at first, it is going to be feeling a little bit challenging, but as you keep on building more and more, you are going to start feeling that you are going to start uh, getting a hang of it, right? And you are going to get better and better at it. Just trust me. Uh, all you got to do with, like, everything in life, right? You got to experiment a lot. And eventually, you are going to get there. I do believe that it is definitely possible. All right, let's get this going. Um... So what I'm trying to do right now, I'm going to make the main path in the campground. That's going to be like a dirt path, right? Uh, we're going to have to wait and see how that goes. There we go. So let me add this one to right over here. Aubrey, welcome. Welcome to the live stream, Aubrey. Uh, for some reason... Oh, my camera, <laughs> my camera disappeared because of the uh, donations there. I was like, where the heck is, where the heck is my uh, face cam? But Sasquatch decided to show up. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go with this over here. Just like that, perfect. All right, so this is gonna be the path allowing us to go inside the campground. Let me make this a little bit longer. Just like that. Teach with Sasquatch. Welcome, buddy, welcome to the live stream. Uh, another thing that we got to add, of course, are going to be these paths, right? So let me go ahead and uh, turn around this path like that. Let me get this one into position. Right over here. And these ones are going to be a little bit higher because it's going to act like a uh, sidewalk. Maybe not as high. Maybe like that, yeah. Maybe like that should be enough. And of course, once I'm going to be done with this area, uh, with the campground here, with the RV campground, we're also going to have the rangers chasing us, showing up if we are going to do some shenanigans of this side, of course. Uh, what part am I doing in Sneaky Sasquatch? We are building the RV camp right now. I think uh, the RV camp and the caves are the last areas that we got to build, uh, at least for now. And if I do build these ones, then we're going to be able to um, focus on the logic a little bit more. Uh, these are going to be the last ones I'm going to be doing. Uh, I cannot wait to actually start getting into the logic. I've been doing a lot of logic lately, and uh, I'm starting to absolutely love it so far. Legendary, if you want to become a member, buddy, there is a join button next to the subscribe one. Or check the links down below in the description. You should be able to see a link down below in the description. All right, so that's going to be uh, working like that. Uh, actually, I think I may need to do something about these ones a little bit different. But for now, let me just expand this a few times. 
just to try to get a um, main idea of the layout. Get this path and this one moved a little bit to the side. And now that we have these ones going, let me copy paste them over here. There we go. Actually, what I'm going to be doing, hold up. Copy paste and there we go. Turn them around like that, much easier. Right, much, much better like that. Um, so, what do we got to do next? I tried becoming a member before, but it's too hard. I mean, all you got to do is just click on a link. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not that hard. But of course, you are going to need some uh, credit card information and stuff like that, because being a member means uh, you're paying a monthly... Uh, a really small fee, depending on which one you want to pay, like one buck or five bucks a month. And uh, of course, being a member means you're supporting the channel and helping me keep on making all this content and keep on working on this uh, on the uh, on the game here. So it's up to you, but it's, it shouldn't be that difficult. All you gotta do is just press on the join button. There should be a join button next to the subscribe one or the link in the description. Uh, there's a bot also posting that link from time to time that you can uh, check out in the chat here as well. All right, another thing that we got to add, of course, is going to be a path uh, on the side of this. Uh, I'm currently building the uh, Ranger, the RV camp, actually, yes. This one's going to be uh, the first RV camp, which, of course, is going to include A and B one. And then we're going to uh, move on to the next one. Now, one thing that I want to do here, I want to bring this path a little bit closer. Just like that. So this is going to be the car path, and this is going to be the, uh, of course, pedestrian path. Uh, this one's going to be connecting eventually with the car path. Just like that. And what I'm going to be doing here is, I guess I'm just going to copy paste this one and carve up a path myself that's going to make it, uh, that's going to connect to the road one, right? All right, let's get this one over here. And as I was saying, we are going to connect this one with this path, right? So what I'm going to do, uh, first of all, let me move the grass away. Uh, another thing that I want to do is get everything selected except for um, the grass and that. And add these ones into a single group. Perfect. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to move all of it at once whenever I need to. All right, let me choose a... Uh, circle. Let's go with green over here. Let me choose this tool. Reverse it. And there we go. Now we're going to be making a path. Now, the reason I'm going with this one is because I'm going to have to make like a curve, right? So let me switch to the secondary camera. So you guys can see what I'm uh, trying to do here. So this one should be connecting over on this side. Yeah, I think that's going to be kind of the size I want. Um, let's go with the smear tool. Man, if only I had like a, uh, the ability to use a mouse and keyboard, I would be so much more precise with this. Or even the move tools, uh, the move controllers would be even better with this. But uh, since I cannot use the move controllers, the old move controllers on the PlayStation 4 with the PlayStation 5, I'm just not able to do this. I just got to wait for the move controls to come out for the PlayStation 5. And that's going to be a happy day because I will definitely be able to be a little bit more precise here with my uh, with my uh, dream builds. All right, remove that corner. A little bit more precise with this one. Of course, it doesn't have to be perfect because keep in mind, this is a path made by people just walking about, which means it's not going to be perfect. I think that should do. Another thing that we got to do here is, of course, add these uh, tiny rocks. Um, let me move into this one. Get it a little bit lower. At the same level, I guess. 
and add a few rocks over here that are going to be inverted and i guess the color is all right perfect uh let's also remove this one and let's see let's add just a few of them over here just to try to continue the effect right that we already have from the other paths there we go Celine, your boy. <laughs> I'm guessing you're using your mom's account maybe to uh, watch uh, YouTube here. All right, perfect. I wish I could have the ability to uh, remember all your names uh, because a lot of you guys are keep on changing your names on YouTube or you're using somebody else's account like brother or sister or mom and dad. And although you are going to tell me your names, uh, I, I just couldn't. By the life of me, remember all your names so that I could call you by your names whenever uh, we're chatting in, uh, in the live streams, right? Alright, let's get that going. Another one over there. Another one here. And that's going to be it. Alright, so we do have ourselves the path that's going to allow us to uh, connect with the roads. Your name is Lewis. Welcome, buddy. Welcome to Livestream, Lewis. Will I remember Legendary? If you're not going to change your name too many times, buddy, I'm probably going to remember you for sure. <laughs> but just keep on coming uh, to more live streams so I can remember, and then we're probably going to start uh, being focused on your name there. But uh, yeah, at least for today, I am going to remember you. <laughs> uh, all right, so what we got to do next is... I think I'm going to have to remove these ones because I do want to add uh, the forest tiles over here as well, right? So let me add this one. Uh, let me start moving like that. Hey, Random Entertainment. Welcome, buddy. What happened? Uh, I'm just building the uh, RV camp right now, buddy. You just came out in time. Uh, I, we haven't really started up uh, too long ago. I just showed up a little bit of the RV camp. Uh, the ranger station actually before today's uh, live stream started if you want to go ahead and check that one out you can easily go ahead and uh scroll back on the youtube video and then uh push, push on the live button so that it takes you back to the live uh section of the video but that's kind of everything we have done so far in today's live stream right yeah, I mean, that kind of works. We had to have a little bit extra green here, but that's fine. It doesn't have to be a uh, complete replica of the area we're trying to present here. Let me get these ones a little bit in like that. Uh, another thing that we got to add, of course, is going to be the uh, tree path. That's going to have no uh, dirt on the sides. So let me get this one connected over here as well. Gravy boy, welcome, buddy. Welcome to the live stream, guys. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much for joining, of course. Now, this one is a little bit of a uh, unusual live stream because I was currently, I was usually uh, streaming during the Saturday, but since we didn't have a stream Saturday, I decided to move it to uh, Sunday. So hopefully that is uh, fine by you guys. All right, let's keep on going here. Okay, so we're gonna have to have quite a few trees copy pasted on this side. Uh, this one's gonna be copy pasting over on this side as well. Let me rotate this one so that we have a little bit of variety on this side. Lace it just like that and grab another one. This one's gonna go at the top. Connect it over here. All right. Now, um, so that is going to be connected with all the trees, right? Okay. Uh, in that case, I want to bring all these trees. Uh, connected with the rest of the area then. Nope. There we go. Just like that. Ah, oh, my nose. My nose is itching. I got a booger. <laughs> hey, David. Welcome, buddy. Welcome to the live stream. Uh, 
My nose. Uh, hold up, I think, yeah, I think Leo on board crashed again. Oh, man, that's why I wasn't really sure if I want to use um, Leo on board to greet the members in because it just crashes all the time. And that's so annoying when it does. David, you've been a member for seven months, buddy. That is so awesome. Thank you very much for being uh, that kind and supporting the channel, buddy. Cheers, mate. That's really kind of you guys. Thank you. Legendary. I'm from Romania, buddy. Oh, God. Uh, I can already feel the heat increasing in my room here uh, where I'm doing these live streams. Wait, I haven't connected these ones, seriously? Just because the weather is uh, changing. I don't mind it, of course. I do love it when the weather is changing and it's starting to be a little bit hotter. A little bit warmer, at least. But I really, really am not a huge fan of uh, hot weather. All right, let me grab these ones. Copy, paste them over here. Just like that. Perfect. Uh, another thing that we got to add, of course, and that's going to be really, really important, are going to be our variables and the motherboard, right? So this is going to be the persistent motherboard that's going to be added over here. Let me add in the variables motherboard. And the reason we added these motherboards, right? Uh, for example, you guys are seeing a few uh, chips over here, the logic. These ones are really important because I'm going to be keep on adding these ones in every single one of the scenes, right? For example, this one is saying hard hats, uh, key one, RV key, and RV key vis uh, visibility. Now, the thing about these ones, once you're going to activate these ones into a specific area, for example, the hard hat. Once you activate the hard hat, once you, once you grab it from the sawmill, uh, you do have to add these variables in every single one of the zones if you want to have Sasquatch wearing the hard hat in every single one of these zones. Now, I'm thinking of making like an inventory, a really, really simple inventory system where you simply press left or right in order to switch between these hats that you're having on your head. And maybe if you press up and down, you're going to be able to switch between the items you hold onto your hand. For example, uh, let's say a shovel they're going to be able to use to uh, shovel up some holes in the map or the um, flashlight you're going to be able to use of course to go inside the caves uh, that's kind of only be there's going to be a really really simple inventory system and that's kind of how i'm thinking of implementing it but of course in order to do it i do have to have all these variables for example as you guys can see we do have a variable for currency right there's going to be a currency system and if you want to have all these currencies saved from one scene to the other you have to have these variables added make one random tall tree Legendary, you want me to make a random tall tree around here somewhere? Yeah, I definitely can do that. And I think I'm going to make it like right about here. Uh, so let me add it from my library of already created items. Uh, these trees that I'm using right now, these ones have been created by myself. As I first started building the world of Stinky Sasquatch here. I keep on saying Stinky Sasquatch. Of course, this is Tiny Sasquatch. It's going to be a little bit different. Uh, hold up. Let me also add the sign because we are going to need that one. Uh, let me go back to... Oh, we're also going to need, of course, some fires. Not sure where the fire is, but let's add it here. Hey, Braxton. Welcome, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the live stream. Uh, you haven't really uh, missed much. I'm still working on uh, trying to build up the the world here. The RV camp, of course. Uh, so we still have the scene motherboard. That's going to change completely the aspect of the area. Uh, let me choose these two, just like that. The motherboard scene is going to go over here. Um, these two are going to jump out like that. Uh, so you guys said, Legendary actually asked about the tall tree, and you are correct. I'm going to be adding some more of these uh, random tall trees around the map. Uh, there we go, we found them. So that's my library, and I'm going to be adding one right over here. This one's going to be a little bit bigger. It's going to be like 166%, I guess, right over here. Just like that. Um, we're going to have some of those um, tree stumps as well added in. Um, so these are going to... Actually, this one's going to tell us that gonna, this is going to be RV Camp A, right? So let me turn this one around... I guess 80 degrees, and I'll add it right over here somewhere, just like that. 
I mean, the color, the motherboard that we have over here, the scene motherboard, is definitely changing the look of this so much. Uh, hold up, let me add myself this and this. And now we can easily edit a little bit better. Now this text needs to go in front a little bit so that it doesn't fade out too much. And I think that should be it. Uh, let me also add in Sasquatch rights to uh, try to test out. I mean, if I'm going a little bit too far from that sign, you guys can see that the A is kind of fading out, which I don't like. And that's why I wanted to pull it a little bit towards me. So let me pull it a little bit more towards me. Because it's, if it's not touching the uh, shape here, although you guys would like to see that, uh, you don't really want that to happen. Because if you, if that touches the shape, whenever you're going too far away from it, it's going to fade out. Now, as you guys can see, as far as I'm going, it's not fading out anymore. And uh, that is what I wanted to see. I signed in to become a member. It didn't work. Um, Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what's happening, Aubrey. I'm... I'm sorry about that. I'm not quite sure exactly how else to explain or how to join and become a member, but it should be pretty straightforward. As soon as you click on the link or press on the join button, it should just take you to uh, the page where you got to just uh, become a member. It should be pretty straightforward. All right, so we got to add in, of course, Sasquatch. Uh, we got to add a few coins. Uh, we do have to add in the variables model board. I already added that, right? Yeah, we got the variable, we got the scene, and we also need the music motherboard that I'm going to have to look for. Uh, for now, let me add a puddle over here as well. Just like that. We are going to have to connect the puddle here with uh, Sasquatch's feet, if I'm not mistaken, right? A blank blankness. Welcome, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Haven't seen you in the live streams for quite a while. So, well, welcome back, buddy. Um, Wait, didn't I have... Didn't I have something added to a puddle here? Hmm. I'm pretty sure I already had a uh, logic board added on it. Let me add a impact sensor on the, uh, I guess, on the puddle. Now, let me put the puddle in the ground. And let me get the touch sensor here. Activating some of these puddles on Sasquatch on this side, right? So that's gonna be for the coin. We got the item, hands, poses, animation. So we got the water ripples. Uh, these are gonna be actually the landing ripples. These are gonna be the water ripples. Uh, for this one, we're not gonna have any water elements, only the small ones at the bottom, right? So uh, these ones are gonna be adding, activating something else. Let me just grab the poof animations over here. And tie this one up with the touching system. Just like that. Logic seems a, a little bit difficult whenever you're, when you're first starting. Um, but it can definitely get much easier. As you're building more in Tiny Sasquatch. You're definitely getting more used to uh, what you're doing in Tiny Sasquatch, right? So it's all about time and learning and practicing. I really found logic to be pretty complicated myself when I first started, but eventually it does make quite a lot of sense. All right, so that's gonna be one splat. And then we're gonna have the second one over here as well for the other foot. Get it over here. Lower it down. All right, and now if I test the puddle, you guys can see that whenever Sasquatch walks on it, it makes those uh, ripples on it, right? There we go. Perfect. My pro programming is sick. Uh, again, as I was saying, I'm not the best programmer ever, but I'm doing my best. I'm definitely doing my best. Now, I did uh, make this coin. This one is from the Dreamiverse. I did change a little bit of the coin here. I just wanted to have those um, edges, those kind of edges when you can feel the side of the coin a little bit, and that kind of gives a little bit of personality to the coin. And I absolutely love how it looks. There we go. We got another coin. And of course, you guys can see the animation for the uh, coin telling us how many coins we have is working perfectly. And that is because I already created the uh, logic for that into the... Um, 
into this chip over here. And whenever I'm bringing this chip, the variables chip, actually the persistent chip, uh, everywhere I go, actually no, yeah, the variable chip, everywhere I go, that thing is just gonna apply easily to all the uh, scenes. Uh, I think what I have to do here, first of all, let me get the things I don't wanna see invisible. And the coin is gonna be a little bit lower. Of course, we are gonna position the coin here uh, into this, this different locations. At the moment, I'm, gonna just, I'm just gonna leave it there. And I'm just gonna copy paste it and move it to other locations as I need it. Uh, let's keep on building then. All right, so what we're gonna need here. Fire needs to come over here. Um, for this side, we are gonna have these trees are not gonna be visible. So let's get this one going like that. I think I wanna make these ones a little bit bigger so that we use less of them, right? I'm trying to get a little bit better at my thermos, uh, trying to look, to use as less graphics energy and uh, the gameplay and the graphics memory, I want to use as less of it as possible as I keep on building the world here. Uh, because the less I use, the more the game dreams is going to allow me then to keep on adding stuff. Because even the puppet itself is getting uh, quite a bit of, uh, of this thermal out uh, of my uh, character, right? out of my game, out of my scene. So I gotta make sure I have enough for it in order for me to add other characters in the game, in the scenes, and add other quests that they're gonna give me. Um, it's quite a struggle, eventually. Eventually, you're gonna figure it out, of course, but at first, it is quite a struggle until you get used to everything, of course. All right, this one's gonna have to be quite close, like that, I guess. Uh, let me add another tree over here. Nope, not that, buddy, the tree. This is gonna have to be rotated. Christian, welcome, buddy. Welcome to the live stream. These two copy paste it over here. Perfect. Uh, I think this is where they're gonna have to be moved a little bit. I'm guessing a little bit this way. Just like that. Uh, so we got that one going. We need a another right over here. I'm trying to uh, make the layout of the area right now, right? To try to understand how this is going to look in the end. And uh, where I'm going to be able to place things. All right, that's going to go here. Perfect. Uh, now that we are done with that, of course, we are going to need a lot of the grass ones. Uh, do I have a simple grass one? Hmm, I'm pretty sure I added the grass one somewhere, but I just cannot see it anywhere. Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to add another grass, simple grass one. So let me go ahead and add me a simple grass one. Uh, I'm talking about the tons of... Oh, uh, another thing we got to add, of course, are going to be the holes, right? We already animated the holes. The, the holes are working perfectly. Uh, I'm just thinking of adding a few more things that I'm going to be able to dig out of the ground. So if you guys want to see how the, the holes work, let me just show you right now. What will I build after the RV park? I'm going to be working on the caves because I have to uh, finish up two caves in the game, right? I have to start working on the cave up on the mountain. I haven't added that one in just yet. And of course, we have the cave that we're going to have to add over here at the RV camp. So currently, you can actually go ahead and dig holes. Of course, there's going to be a condition. If you are going to need to have the... Um, I just noticed a bug that I'm going to have to fix. Of course, this is also going to be a bug that I absolutely know about. But uh, you guys can see that it is currently working, I guess, right? Um, so I think the bug that I just saw... Let me see if I can figure it out. Uh, so there are going to be two bugs that I'm going to have to figure out here. Sneaky, idle, and dig. So this is the digging animation. Uh, let's see. That's going to be the dust... That animation over there. Wait, where's that? Hmm. I mean, first of all... Yeah, this is the animation of the dirt, right? And this animation is actually going to need to be around here somewhere. When Sasquatch is digging in the ground, that's going to be the one, right? Uh, actually, no, that's the pouch of 
point animation. So what I'm going to do, let me go ahead and activate, uh, hold on a minute. Let me go into the camera because the camera is going to the ground. The camera needs to be looking at Sasquatch. Whenever we are collecting the coin out of the ground, we're going to be able to see Sasquatch collecting that. So let's jump out of the uh, camera there. Let me go into the animation itself. Sasquatch is digging over here. And for some reason, I'm seeing an animation of Puff on this side instead of having it properly. So I think the way I'm going to fix that one is here. And the Puff that I'm seeing... Yeah, is this one. So this Puff should be happening on... Sasquatch over here, actually. On the actual shovel, right? So that's one. That's gonna be two. I think this is a bug that I have on... Um, hmm, on the main animation here, so I may have to animate that on Sasquatch and then bring it over. Not quite sure why this is happening. All right, so that's gonna be the puff that we've hopefully fixed up. Uh, but another thing that we gotta fix up, of course, is going to be the... Uh, doo -doo -doo. The emitter, right? This emitter that's gonna emit the coins is gonna be here somewhere. So let me just go on, do that. Let's Sasquatch grab the coin, and there we go. You, you guys have seen something animated here at his hands, but that animation that you just saw, that one's gonna have to happen somewhere else. This one, I mean, needs to go on the actual coin bag over here. All right, so now it's probably gonna animate properly, right? There we go, that one has been fixed. And I think now, if I go into playing this again and digging for the uh, treasure, the puff, as you guys can see, it's animating properly what it should. And when we're seeing the coin, we're also seeing that puff. Awesome, it works, look at that. Of course, this is another small animation that we did um, off camera, and uh, I'm pretty happy with the result of it. Stanton, will I be making the Halloween room uh, in the case where you play 100 uh, to, to start Halloween? I'm not planning on making any Halloween or wintertime e events in Sneaky Sasquatch. But uh, yeah, we're probably going to have that room as well. Why not? But keep in mind, the cave that I'm going to be building in Sneaky Sasquatch is going to be pretty different. It's not going to be the same as the one you know in the game. I do intend on making it a little bit challenging, like maybe have uh, some platforming challenges where Sasquatch is going to have to jump on some platforms, activate some dungeons, and ultimately making it a little bit uh, more intriguing. Uh, I don't want to copy-paste the exact layout of the game that we know in Sneaky Sasquatch. It is going to be inspired by it, of course. It is going to have a little bit of the layout that we know in Sneaky Sasquatch, but it's going to be ultimately completely different. Uh, all right, so we got the grass style that we, add, we want to add over here. Let's see how this looks. So this one needs to connect on this side. So as you guys know, at the moment, I'm trying to build up the uh, area over here, right? We got the road, we got the sign. I'm going to have to uh, make these RVs, though. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to make these RVs, but I'm going to have to uh, figure them out eventually. Yeah, I'm going to have to see how I'm going to be able to do those. Let me get this one over here, a little bit to the back. And I think I got it at the right level here, right? A little bit higher, maybe. There we go. Perfect. All right, so that works. Um, next up, um, let me keep on adding more grass on this side. Here. And close it up on this side, perfect. Now, I don't wanna go too crazy with uh, these scenes because something that I learned as I kept on building here is that eventually you are gonna hit the limit of the uh, thermals, and if you don't pay attention on them, it's Dreams is just not gonna allow me to build anymore. Now, of course, I could get 
better and better at the thermals and the way I build these uh, maps. I've seen some crazy huge creations in dreams. For example, there is one right now created by some crazy guys that are trying to uh, remake the um, Avatar game, right? And it's looking absolutely insane. And the scenes they have created, man, they're just humongous. Uh, hold up, let me grab all the dirt here and connect all of this with the rest of the uh, trees on the sides. And when I saw the huge walls they're creating and they still have like really good thermos, I was just being blown away. I have no idea how they're doing it. That's why I keep on saying that I gotta get better at it for sure. All right, so that's gonna be the dirt path, right? Um, I think, yeah, I think this should be enough for one side of the RV. Uh, for one RV here, it's gonna be the path that's gonna take us to the cave. So let me grab me these three tiles and bring them over to the side. Just like that. Uh, I don't know if I'm more excited about this one or Damsel Interactive's Copper Court of Thieves. Both are amazing dreams projects. Hmm. Uh, Black Blackness, I don't really know about that one. Damsel Interactive's Copper or Cooper, Court of Thieves. I'm definitely gonna have to go ahead and check that one out, buddy, but thank you very much for telling me about it. I definitely had no idea about it. Uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, grab it from, from the chat here and um, paste it somewhere, somewhere in my computer, I guess, so I remember it uh, because I have no idea about it. Oh yeah, I know exactly what the one you're talking about. I think I actually seen a uh, trailer about it and I was really, really intrigued for sure. Yeah, that's gonna be a really epic one. Absolutely. All right, uh, next up we are gonna need a few more trees at the top. I think I'm gonna have to start on this side, yeah, with a few more trees. So let me jump into these ones, bring them over here, here like that. All right, we are gonna have a few rocks over here we're gonna have to use. Uh, let me grab me, I guess these two, oh. These two like this. And I keep on expanding this area. Now, I may actually be able to also make the entrance in the cave into the first RV camp to be in the same scene. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to keep an eye open on the thermals here, make sure I do have enough for doing that. Now, the reason I keep on filling these one up too much is because I keep on adding way too many things into my game. Now, another thing, another game that I'm absolutely excited about, Blank Blankness in Dreams, is a game called Tren. P-R-E-N. If you go ahead and check it out, you're going to be amazed by it. That one's go, it's going to be created by the team at Media Molecule. And Media Molecule are the ones that have created Dreams here, right? And they absolutely know what they're doing. It's going to be a really, really fun game about a train. But it's really, really fun. I saw a uh, small trailer they have created and a little bit of uh, their process of working on that game. And I found it so intriguing. And I cannot wait for it to be finished. But of course, Media Molecule are putting a lot of uh, attention to details, so uh, I'm definitely going to expect it to be amazing. All right, so we know how this works. Uh, all we got to do is just move this whole, I guess, to a specific location where we want to have it. Um, but next up, we also want to have the B uh, camp, right? And this one's going to be on this side. Uh, I'm not going to have the hole on the right side where you can see the, um, the chest. So that's going to have to be something a little bit different, I guess. Yeah, I guess that should be enough for this area right over here for the camp. Yeah, I think this should be good. Uh, let's grab these ones, bring them over here. Yes, this is going to be an open space for another RV. Just like that. All right, and eventually it is going to close down on this side over here. So in order to close this down, we got to bring another one, bring this one really close to the actual path. There we go. That's perfect. Bring this one in over here. And some dirt. All 
right, perfect. Um, just like that, maybe. All right. No, it's Tren. It's T R E N. Let me type it in the chat. Now, something really amazing that I found out about this, of course, Tren means in Romania. Trend means train. That's how we say train in Romania. And of course, developers and Media Malker are from England, right? They're English. Uh, but they do have some uh, British, some Romanian developers in the company there as well. And the suggestion from my fellow Romanians, of course, my fellow Romanian developers, uh, they suggested that they call the game Tren because that means train. So that's why they went with that name. Um, I was really shook when I saw that. I was really surprised that they did that. But uh, the name is actually pretty good for a game. It's actually pretty, pretty good. All right, let's keep on going here. Okay, let's see. So another thing that we got to do is keep on expanding these. Oh, actually, no, that's not good. Um, I got to bring in these trees that have a little bit of the path, right? On this side. Yeah, that's what we needed. Perfect. There we go. Expand on this side. Now, one thing that I've actually done with the campgrounds, uh, the normal ones, not the RV ones, right? Um, I've added... I've actually split those camps in two because previously I had them into one and uh, I was having issues with the thermals. I couldn't add anything anymore. And because of that, we had to split it in two. And now it's going to be working much, much better. But the reason at the same time, once I did that, I also had to redo quite a bit of it. I'm going to show you guys in just a second what I'm talking about. But I think I'm going to apply that logic to this area as well, right? Uh, we are going to be able to see the other area through this path, but uh, you're not gonna be able to go into that area only by, I mean, you're gonna be able to go into that area only by actually passing through a uh, gateway, through a doorway. I will be making a little bit of the other campgrounds over here, um, just to be able to view it from the distance instead of just seeing uh, the smoke, right? I feel like that's a much, much better approach to building these worlds. Um, what I also want to do here is add a little bit more grass, I think, on this side, yeah. So let me grab me these two. I haven't really heard anything from developers uh, of the one, the game that I'm making here. I'm really, really curious to see their reaction once they're going to see what I have built. Just because this is just a fan game. This is just something I made because I'm absolutely in love with Sneaky Sasquatch. And... Of course, out of curiosity, I, I'm, I just want to see what their thoughts are on what I have created so far. Alright, get this one over here. Another one on this side, and that is going to be... Actually, I think I'm going to need another one over here. There we go. Perfect. All right, so this is kind of the layout of the first uh, campground, right? Campground A and B. And after this one, we're going to have uh, C and D on the other sides. Um, yeah, pretty happy with the result here. Of course, we are going to have uh, a few of these fires budding out. So that's going to be the first one over here. There we go, right in the middle. Uh, we're going to have another one to the... Uh, left side I could just have this one placed like right about here because it's gonna be like one block where I'm gonna be able to add the dirt right around it or I could just expand that dirt into two blocks instead yeah let's just do that instead get this one like over here expand this fire up to this side then and bring it over here there you go buddy It's gonna look even better when it's gonna be done, of course. <laughs> At the first, uh, it's a little bit challenging to envision what this is gonna look like, but uh, with just a little bit of imagination, you can kind of see how this is gonna look. Of course, at the moment, we're kind of flying above it, right? We have like a bird's eye view of the area, but when you're playing with Sasquatch, you can't really see the, um, the outsides of the area. 
But yeah, whenever you're running with Sasquatch like this, it definitely looks much, much better. Oh, by the way, I have finished working on the uh, maze. It looks amazing, guys. It looks absolutely amazing. Now, another feature I got to add for the fire here, whenever Sasquatch is going to jump on it, he's going to have to catch fire for sure. And that fire is going to take him down. I do want to have that as a feature so that Sasquatch respawns in the game. Uh, if you do jump in the fire, you are going to catch fire. And uh, I cannot wait to animate him. <laughs> I will have uh, him getting damage in time, right? If you do jump in the fire, you're going to get damage uh, 20 by each five seconds maybe so each second you're gonna lose 20 health and eventually you're gonna die just because i want to see sasquatch animating a little bit and a little bit burning it kind of sounds a little bit sadistical but i feel like i can actually make it look really really funny so yeah there's definitely something i'm gonna be adding um and i'm gonna be adding that one to my notes uh after the live stream ends so i don't forget about it i just watched some of the trend footage it's amazing yeah i told you blank it's absolutely amazing buddy and I cannot wait to play that game as well. It's going to be so, so fun. Now, one thing I'm going to do here. I think I'm going to remove these ones. Instead, oh, you know what? I mean, yeah, I'm going to remove those ones. And instead, I'm going to increase the size of this huge one. Just like that. There we go. Right, and also increase the size of the uh, grass. And the reason we're doing this is because we want to keep the um, the size of the grass, right? If I would have just made the block there, the tile there bigger, um, that would have caused issues as the the grass on this square here would have been uh, taller than the rest of it. I mean, all I'm going to do when I'm going to be making Sasquatch here burn, all I'm going to I'm just going to copy paste, I guess, the flames from this fire. I'm going to apply them to Sasquatch. Uh, whenever he jumps on it, he's just going to start burning, and I'm going to have to animate his head, like, running like this, and uh, being, like, really crazy. I'm going to have to wait and see how that goes. I was just going like this, actually. <laughs> going with my hands up. So that animation is probably going to be really funny, and I'm also, of course, going to have to make Sasquatch make, like, a uh, crazy noise. Yeah, we're going to have to wait and see how that goes, for sure. All right, so next up, we got to jump into this. Let me grab the um, circle. Invert, and let me make a hole here for the fire. So this is going to be a path where people are going to be able to make their uh, fire camps, right? And it is going to have to have no grass so that it doesn't catch any fire. Yeah, hold up. Let me make it a little bit more perfect. Let me make this a little bit smaller. Right. And try to focus a little bit on the... Dang it. I keep on going on the rocks there, and that's kind of... Messing me up a little bit. Come on, buddy. Can you please stop going on the rocks? I'm just trying to remove the uh, grass on this path over here. That looks amazing, Santin. Thank you very much, buddy. Cheers. You guys have been uh, really, really supportive with uh, what I've been building here, and of course, that keeps on me, uh, that definitely keeps me going, for sure. I've been working a lot, especially lately. I've been working quite a lot on these uh, builds here in, in Tiny Sasquatch. Uh, I've been spending mostly the night because I feel like I'm concentrating more during the nighttime when there's no other distractions. Especially in the logic phase, since I'm not a developer, I'm not really understanding code as uh, as I should if I was a developer, I guess. So I'm kind of guessing here and there how to do things. I feel like I want to have this much bigger though. Yeah, I feel like this campsite should be a little bit bigger. <laughs> I love that you can hear Sasquatch getting bored over there as he's idling. Definitely want to make more animations like these ones. So if you guys have really awesome ideas for idle animations, let me know in the chat or in the comments of the video. 
I would definitely, definitely love to add, like, I don't know, maybe two or three more. Just to have them shuffle around, right? I'm a big, big fan, man. You helped me so much in Sneaky Sasquatch, and now you're replicating it? Amazing! <laughs> thank you, buddy. Overthinking it. Thank you, for my, thank you very much for that, buddy. Cheers. Alright, let's keep on going here. So, we got uh, the first one. Let me do the same for here as well. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to... Hold up. Let me actually make my way here. Remove these ones. And I'm going to simply copy-paste this one. I'm probably going to make this one a little bit different, though. Just actually... Nah, we're fine. We don't, we don't have to make it change, we'll change it. I think it's fine like that. It doesn't have to be different. All I'm going to do, though, is move the fire a little bit to the right. And put it in the ground a little bit more. All right, similar for this one, we gotta put it a little bit more in the ground because it was uh, touching the grass. But now it's gonna have to be on the dirt. Perfect. This is way better than the Wonder Box project. Um, that is correct, and um, I do agree. I mean, the first time I started uh, reproducing Sneaky Sasquatch, I of course started with Wonder Box because that is the one that I felt I wanted to try and test out because it was pretty simple. But after I finished it, I felt like it was way too simplistic. Way, way, way too simplistic. And I had to make it a little bit more complicated. I just wanted to see the game uh, be a little bit better, right? And I feel like Wonderbox was really, really limiting me. But Dreams here is just not limiting me at all. I mean, it is limiting me a little bit with the amount of things you can add in your scenes. But other than this, you can actually create so much. There's no limit to what you can make in Dreams. Especially if you split these scenes in multiple parts, you're not going to hit the limit any anytime soon. Alright, this one's gonna have to say uh, B, right? So let me go with this. Change the text on both of them to say B. Alright, there we go. That's gonna be RV Camp B and RV Camp A over here. Perfect. Okay, um, what do we add in? We gotta add in the bushes as well. So let me see if I can find them somewhere. Uh, so we got the puddles, we got the digging hole. Uh, we're going to have the NPCs, of course, walking about. Uh, that's going to be the lever pattern. We don't need that. Lake, bus driver interactions, forest tiles, achievements, uh, fridges, bus driver again. Secret cache, of course. It's going to be another secret cache we're going to be able to add in the game. Uh, I'm just going to place it in here for now. Just to have it in. Uh, persistent motherboard. We already have that one in. Alright, so we got the bush. So this is one bush that we can add in. Uh, what else are we gonna need? We are gonna need... I mean, we got the grass, we got the bush. We also need the other bushes, right? The round ones. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. Oh, the missing motherboard as well needs to be added in here. But I'm gonna just turn this one off for now because we want to listen to my music for now in the background. It looks like a tropical plant. Um, not really. There's a lot of plants like this. And also, if you look in Sneaky Sasquatch, there is actually a plant just like this one in Sneaky Sasquatch. Like, exactly like this one. Uh, I could try to show you guys it on the screen here if I can. Hold up. Let me see if I can actually do that. All right, there we go. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this plant right here is the one I'm talking about. This is the plan that uh, we also introduced here into the game, right? Uh, it does look like a tropical one, but no, it's just a forest bush, I guess. Oh yeah, this plant is absolutely everywhere in Sneaky Sasquatch. There we go, I'm making it even bigger so you guys can see it. It's probably a little bit difficult for you guys to see it. Oh, it's a dandelion, now I know what you mean. Yeah, I don't know if it's, it, uh, it's not the dandelion, the yellow one, it's just this bushy one, right? It's just this really, really, really bushy one that we have on this screen right now. Yeah, that's the one we're trying to um, reproduce it. It's a little bit difficult to see on the uh, face cam there, but hopefully you get it. All right, these ones are going to be copy-pasted quite a few times into the game. Uh, it is a little bit too big, though, so let me make it a little bit smaller. There we go. We got that one placed in. Um, let's see what else we got to add in. 
So we got that, we got the C motherboard, we got Mr. Pimpleton over here that we haven't finished just yet. Uh, I still haven't added any logic on Mr. Pimpleton, we still have to uh, add him eventually, of course. We have these benches that we gotta add in. Um, of course, we are gonna have... What else are we gonna have here? Interactions... I mean, currently, these are the RVs that I introduced in the game, right? And I think I will add these ones instead of making them square like we have in Stinky Sasquatch. I feel like I feel, I feel like I want to add these ones, as this is the one that I added in most of the areas in the game. So yeah, this is probably going to be the RV that we're going to be using. Uh, we are going to be using multiple, of course, and uh, changing the cars of them. <laughs> I love how the door is moving. <laughs> Alright, so that's gonna be one RV over here. Make sure it's not gonna be on the ground too much, just like that. Don't forget the lunchbox. What lunchbox? Oh, you mean uh, the um, the ice coolers, right? You mean the ice coolers? Or the picnic baskets? Alright, we got the RV. Uh, I was looking for the other bush though, but I cannot seem to find it in my library here. I will come across it eventually. There we go. This is the one. Alright, we got the bush as well, right? So we are gonna need a few of these bushes as well. Uh, maybe place around here for now. The cooler, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be bringing on some coolers. Let me see if I can find the cooler in the library. If not, I'm gonna have to make my own. As, uh, of course, you guys can imagine, you are going to be able to find some things in the game here, uh, in the library, in the Dreamiverse, but you're not going to be able to find everything, right? You are going to be limited to uh, what you're finding. The trailer is so cute! <laughs> Thank you very much, Mom Cam. Thank you very much for also joining again. So let's go with Cooler. Ooh, look at that! We got a cooler! Easy, we just found it. <laughs> and this one is also a one by one, right? Which means we are gonna be we're not gonna be losing anything. And I think I see that it's also animated, which is great. Uh, I am gonna do a little bit of changes to the animation of it so that it meets the other criteria of mine, but look at that, it's even animated to open up. I feel like I'm gonna make my own animation here to open up the cooler and close it down. But uh yeah, as you guys can see, we have a cooler. As I was saying, I will change the animation here, making this feel a little bit better. Uh, I feel like its its graphics are not as hmm, not as cool though. <laughs> Although that kind of sounds weird. The animations of the cooler don't look good. Uh, I am gonna animate this one a little bit better. I'm gonna put like a um, tweak on it because at the moment I don't think I like the animation. So the way I'm gonna make this one perfect though. Hold up. Let me improve the look of it first of all. Uh, adjust detail. Increase the graphics quality on it. There we go. Now it looks more like a cooler. I mean, of course, I understand why they reduced the graphics quality on it because they wanted to save the graphics memory, but it was looking a little bit too pixelated, right? So now we got the cooler here. Um, put ice and water on the inside, maybe. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Now, first of all, as you guys can see, if I pull the lid, it's just breaking apart, right? We don't want that. We actually want the lid to move like like a lid moves, right? And the way you do that is pretty easy. And uh, I don't understand why these guys didn't do it. Uh, all you gotta do is just jump into the gadget here. Grab the connectors. Grab a bolt. Uh, I guess all you gotta do is just get the bolt connected. This one to... This one over here, but I gotta get it straight. So let me make sure I get the bolt connected straight. So that's gonna connect with this one. I think I didn't connect it straight yet, for sure. Definitely, definitely didn't connect it straight. So let me try that again. Wait, what are you doing, buddy? You are on the line there. Hmm. It's not allowing me to connect it straight then, eh? Grab this one. Put it up here as straight as I can, I guess. All right, so now, whenever we're pulling this... Look at that. Now it opens up as it should. It is a little bit still messed up, so I gotta figure out how to get this to work properly. Um, what if I just move this cooler a little bit like that to be on the line with uh, the hinge here? So what I'm trying to do right now, I'm trying to make sure the hinge is properly aligned so that whenever we're opening up the cooler, it opens up properly. 
let me align it because whoever designed this one didn't really do a good job at properly aligning everything. Although there are quite a lot of assets in the game, uh, you still have to put a little bit of work into making them perfectly. But at least using these assets is definitely helping me uh, finish up what I'm trying to finish here much faster, right? So let me get this straight up like that. Connect it over here. Uh, let me get this connector though inside the cooler so that it opens up exactly as I want it to open up. So now if I pull this, there we go. Now it's opening the way I want it to open. A big problem we're having, of course, it is going <laughs> 360 and you don't want that, right? So in order to fix this, all we gotta do is just add some stops. Let me activate the use limit. Um, this limit has already been reached, so that's gonna be lower. And the other limit is at the top. Just like that, there we go. And now, you cannot go 360 degrees, right? Easy, it's pretty easy to do these animations. Um, and that is gonna be it. Of course, we are gonna have to add the animation here and interaction button for Sasquatch whenever he reaches this. Uh, he's gonna get a... Uh, little bit of a notification right that I can actually go ahead and add to this right now so let me get my own animation button here because we already have actually hold up what is that cooler thing that we just saw what is this sound uh, that's a cool loop never mind of course there are quite a lot of coolers inside here as you guys can see uh, you can also go ahead and find some sound effects some um... No effect for a cooler, apparently. That's fine. We're gonna be able to add like an open, a close open uh, effect. Uh, if I go into searching here for open, for example. Let me go into tags, sound effects. Let's see if we can find a sound that kind of appropriate with the cooler clamps. Nope. No, drink can't open? No. They're open. Hmm. Yeah, we are gonna have to look into the sounds here a little bit later on, I guess. Um, legendary, look at my last text. Oh yeah, remember that rangers hide randomly in a campsite to catch you? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna be adding some rangers in the campsite here for the RV. And whenever you're doing some cheeky things, uh, the rangers are gonna show up. Oh, uh, overthinking it. Type in creek. Yeah, you're right. I should type in creek in here and search for creek. And see if that sound shows up. That's kind of a little bit too creaky. <laughs> That's kind of wooden creek, right? I want like a uh, plastic creek, I guess. No. Organic? No. There's a lot of sounds that you can use, of course. Oh, hold up. Nope, that's just a song. Freaking door. Oh, what about this one? I think this one is good. Yeah, I think this one, this sound may actually be uh, what we're looking for here. So we got one sound. Uh, let me actually get this sound set up properly once I'm gonna be uh, working with it, actually. Hold up. Let me get it on play once. Uh, what do we want to have? So, as I was saying, I want to add my interaction button, right? That I already created. So, let me see if I can find it into my library. To do, I'm going to be using the same button for every single thing so that we can keep uh, everything looking uh, the same, right? We don't want to have different animations. So, that's why I made an interaction button over here that I'm also placing every single time on every single one of my uh, characters and creations. For some reason, I did not add it to it. For some reason, I don't know why I did there. Uh, interaction to add here. Wait, what are you doing that? Paste. There we go. All right, we got the interaction button. Now, this interaction is mostly for uh, people talking with us, but I've also changed the way this works for uh, us opening up stuff as well, right? So, first of all, I'm going to remove the uh, variable. Uh, one thing that we don't want to have is... I definitely don't want to have the exclamation mark above it. Uh, that's just going to be something that's going to be visible over there. 
Uh, another thing they want to have. We don't want to have the microchips here. All we're going to activate here with C, with, with port C, is going to be um, this thing animating us open. And that's it. So let me reduce this one to three. Just like that. Uh, negative empathetic. We don't need that sound. We got the ploppers, of course. As soon as we activate it, we do need to have that sound going on. This one's going to be going up here. All right. So as soon as Sasquatch gets close to the cooler, we're going to see this button, but this is going to say open instead of uh, talk. So actually, it's not going to say anything. It's just going to say square, right? Because we know that square is for interaction. So that square is going to show up, allowing us, letting us know that we can open it up just like that above it. There we go. So we got a square. Uh, it's going to have the curious little bubble, of course, that's going to be showing up. And once we hit on square, we want to have the animation and the sound playing. And the animation is going to be this thing opening up and then closing it down, I guess, once we leave. Yeah, I think that's how it's going to work. Uh, or maybe it's just going to stay open. I don't even care. It definitely can stay open. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab a small keyframe over here. This keyframe is going to tell this lid to open up like that. And that's it. And this keyframe is going to be permanent. There we go. As you guys can see, that's working. Uh, another thing that I'm going to be doing, actually, I'm going to be adding a timeline because this is going to be an animation that's going to be happening in a timeline. Um, I could. Yeah, you know what? Hold up. Instead of just seeing the animation, uh, instead of just seeing that thing open up instantly, right? We want to see the animation happening. So once I'm going to be doing... I'm going to be actually going inside this, disabling the permanent. Uh, let me get myself another keyframe over here. Let me go inside the lid, and this lid is going to be closed. So, first stage is going to be closed, second stage is going to be open. And then, all you got to do is just connect these two together. Uh, let me also get the sounds. So, it's going to be the sound creaking, right? Uh, letting us know that it's opening, I guess. Not sure exactly why it's this long. Uh, let me get this one over here. So I cannot reduce that one, but that's fine. Uh, now we can get this one to be permanent. There we go. Close it up. So whenever we're going to hit on square, this animation starts. And I think that is everything. All right, let's test it out. So if Sasquatch goes over to that cooler, boom. You guys can see that it's, we are seeing the interaction button, which is square, of course. And if I hit on square, look at that. We also can hear the noise, right, of it opening up. Uh, I feel like the noise is a little bit too slow. I feel like also the animation of it opening, it's a little bit too slow. So in order to fix that up, all I got to do is just bring this one over. I guess to like right about here. Um, this thing, the sound though that's making it's a little bit too slow. So let me speed up this thing actually to 200. Uh, let me also get this sound to only be heard right over here. So you can only hear the sound of this cooler opening when you're close to it. I mean, of course, you're going to be able to hear it when you're close to it because you're going to be the only one that's going to be able to hear it. But I still want to kind of have a sense of uh, perspective here. Uh, that's going to happen like that. This one's also going to have a little bit of a peak so that it moves a little bit faster. There we go. I kind of like the sound now. Uh, this one is going to go all... Come on, buddy. All over here on the sounds. All right, and now if I test it out, let's see how this goes. Stanton, can you add ice to the cooler? Of course I can. Everything can be done, buddy. Everything can be done. Look at that. Much better. Much, much better in my opinion. Because we can hear it opening up. We can also see the animation a little bit slower. It's definitely much, much better. Uh, I can also make, of course, ice jumping out of it as you open it up. Uh, another thing that we're going to be doing here, I'm probably going to be adding like some food elements or something in it that we're going to be able to collect automatically as uh, you're opening it up. 
Can you add ice to the cooler? Yes, we can, buddy. Yes, we can. Yes, we can add everything, but I'm not going to add any ice because that's no point in adding any ice. Uh, at the moment, if I do open it up, you can actually see that we have those uh, ice blocks inside, right? Because usually nowadays, you're not really putting ice, actual ice in the coolers. You're actually putting those uh, frozen boxes of liquid inside them. All right, this one is going to be going. Uh, we got the cooler done. Let's bring this one over here. As you guys can see, it's pretty easy to do this stuff. And this stuff that I've done right now, the animation for the cooler and adding the interaction, this is just stuff that I personally just learned by simply playing the game. Uh, nobody really taught me this stuff. I did watch a few uh, YouTube videos uh, just to get some ideas of how to do some things. But this exact button over here that I have and I'm applying it to every single one of my interactions, this is something I made on my own and I got it to look the way I want it to look, of course. Um, and it's something I just learned by simply playing dreams there's no easier way to learn this but just simply doing it just by simply playing it, i guess that's the best way you're going to be learning things all right let me get this table to actually was on the right mm, i think i'm going to turn it around a little bit yeah uh, let me just get it over here just like that all right uh let me turn it around 90 degrees There we go. Oh, you know what? We need a potty potty. Um, so we got to bring it over from the inventory again. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, doo -doo -doo. I'm actually thinking of making a uh, really um, creepy <laughs> little quest with all these uh, toilets that I'm adding in the game. So uh, if you guys are going to be playing Tiny Sasquatch at one point, just remember that. And uh, search for all the potties in the game. You might be... Need to search for them because you might be able to find some things inside. They might be quite gross, <laughs> but uh, you guys are definitely gonna have to find them. You are gonna have to search for them for sure. I think 75 is uh, the size I applied to all of them, yeah. All right, so we got the potty applied. Uh, let me test it out and make sure it works. So, of course, we got the coin that's animating. We're seeing uh, the coin adding. Uh, we got the chest. At the moment, we cannot open up the chest because I already have it locked. Uh, we are going to be able to do some things to open it up. Uh, what about this one? Did I lock it in? Oh, no. This one is already open. Interesting. All right, all right. Another feature that I added, whenever you're jumping inside these uh, RVs, the sound is kind of getting a little bit muffled, right? If I'm jumping in right now, you, you cannot really, really hear the sounds in the outside anymore. I mean, you are hearing it, but it's really, really muffled. Uh, the pond. The pond is going to be in the next section of the RV camp, buddy. Not in this one. All right, so we got this going. Uh, we got the crate opening up. Uh, the chest here is going to have to be moved to a different side. And let me test the toilet as well. And of course, the toilet is also opening up. I may just have to change the animation on the toilet and stuff like that because I really, really am not happy with it. And I'm probably going to have to uh, change it on all of them. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to forget about the cave because the cave is going to be part of the story modes. And we definitely, definitely cannot forget about the um, the cave there. Um, one thing that I have to do, though, I think I'm going to have to expand on this side quite a bit. So... Let me get those ones over there. Let me get all of this copied to this side, including the trees. Just like that, and expand them over to this side. And one more time, maybe. There we go. Uh, let me grab these three then. Move them here. That should be great. Sometimes I'm just putting way too much attention to details into these areas. <laughs> and that's uh, annoying me quite a bit sometimes. But 
I don't mind it. I want this to look as gorgeous as possible. As I was saying, and as I'm gonna keep on saying, this is just a fan-based game. It's not gonna be something I'm making in order for me to make any income out of it. Uh, it's just something I'm making out of fun. And uh, it's like painting, right? It's like I'm painting something I just wanna make sure that painting looks as beautiful as possible. Now, currently we are at halfway there into the uh, terminals, into graphics memory, into the uh, graphics, into the gameplay memory. So we should be pretty good. Uh, I just have a few more elements to add, like uh, the second RV here. Maybe also try to make it bigger. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna be able to do that, although I don't really wanna add too many assets. Uh, although I would absolutely love to have a bigger RV than the one that we already currently have. I'm gonna wait uh, and see how that goes. For now, let me just get this one going like that. Just to finish up the sides here. I have a little bit of understanding on the layout. Uh, actually, this is not gonna go there. Uh, on this side, we are gonna have to have, um, let's see, some cliffs, right? So we are gonna have to import in some stones and start making the uh, mountain side. I mean, the RV camp, that's why I kind of left the RV camp to the end there. I already have a lot of the elements that I already worked on in the past uh, in the past live streams, which means all I'm doing right now, I'm just uh, importing them all because those ones took the most amount of work. And uh, then I'm just putting them together so that we can form this whole area. Um, I'm still going to be adding quite a lot of details, of course. Now, one thing that I've started doing with these pads, for example, this pad that you guys can see on the screen, hopefully, uh, right over here. This is gonna be the path that's gonna take us to the bear, right? Which you guys know that the path here is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be a little bit of a different color, like a um, lighter gray, uh, lighter green, actually. And the way I'm doing it now, instead of just coloring the actual tiles, I'm just using the grass here to make the path. I feel like it's a little bit more interesting. And uh, also, I'm absolutely in love with these uh, um, grassy tiles because these ones kind of move when Sasquatch crosses through them, and I absolutely love it. Alright, let's see if we can get this one going over here. Just like that. I also want to keep on moving these ones to have random positions. And also move them around a little bit. So they don't point, uh, so they don't all point at the same location. Get this one over here. Also, some of them, I can put them a little bit into the ground. Well, some of them are higher, I guess, just to have a little bit of a uh, interesting look to it. Let me also try to select all of them and place them all into a single group, just like that. All right, perfect. Now, if I select all of these, I can simply copy all of them at once and bring them over to this side. This is gonna increase, this is gonna allow me to go through uh, the process a little bit faster, right? There we go, and again. One more, and that should be enough. All right, perfect, let's test it out. There we go. And as you guys can see, it's activating, right? When Sasquatch is running through it, uh, this is uh, activating properly. Now, the asset that I'm using here, the grass asset, this one has been actually been created by another dreamer called Acert. And he's really amazing with these things. He's, of course, kind of a developer. He knows, he kind of understands codes, so he knows what he's doing. Um, and I love it that he made the grass here as an asset so that everybody can use. Me personally, I absolutely love these type of details in games whenever I'm uh, exploring. I absolutely love exploring in games, of course. And whenever I'm exploring some games and I see these type of uh, details, I'm absolutely loving it. All right, let me keep on adding the grass next, uh, which are gonna be a few grass tiles over here. Uh, these grass tiles are also gonna be merged into their own group. Just that it's easier for me to work with it and move them around if I need to.
right? We got a patch of grass over here. Uh, we do have to do a lot of these ones though. These are changing completely the way the game looks. That's why I keep on adding them absolutely everywhere. I mean, we are working into a foresty area, right? So forests are full of all these bushes, uh, tall grass, small grass, just a lot of elements. Um, Dreams, of course, has its own limitations. It is going to limit us sometimes, not allowing us to place too many elements at once. But even though, even if they do that, you can still get quite a lot of these uh, grassy elements to get the world look uh, as beautiful as possible. <laughs> you like this, this squeaky noise Sasquatch makes when he jumps. Yeah, that was definitely a small detail that I absolutely loved when I added myself as well. Uh, just because I wanted to give Sasquatch a little bit of a voice. I, I mean, I don't want Sasquatch to keep on making noises like uh, words, right? I don't want Sasquatch to be talking. Um, but I just wanted him to have a little bit of a voice. Just a squeaky one because he's tiny, right? The whole idea of uh, the game here that I'm making is uh, Tiny Sasquatch is the name, of course. And I wanted uh, to have these uh, squeaky noises. Even if, even when he's getting hurt, he's making like a really squeaky noise as well. All right, let me keep on adding quite a bit of these bushes around. Another one there. These ones I'm just placing randomly right now, just to try to fill up the area with a few of them. There we go. Uh, let me also grab the big ones as well. Spread them apart, put them close to each other, put one over there. Maybe follow with a few of them on this path. There we go, random places. Oh, nope, not the trees, buddy. Oh, God. Oh, God, what did I do? I think I accidentally copy-pasted. Is it this one, the one that we copy paste accidentally? Yeah, I think it is, I think it is. So this one needs to go. Hold up, let me make sure I'm not gonna mess anything up. So nothing else moves, right? Yeah, let me delete this one then. Oh, the dirt is in the same area? Yeah, it is, it is. Yes, delete. Uh, what I'm gonna do though, uh, I do wanna make sure the dirt is not gonna be in the same layer, la layer. So let me remove this one out of the group. When I jump, yeah, this was just some animation. Especially the small poofs that he makes when he lands, it's different. And when he jumps up, he makes those uh, small bubbles, right? Look at that. And also, somebody was uh, keep on saying me, telling me in the uh, chat in the live streams to make the um, the footprints right a little bit less dark. And I just went ahead and made them, and now they're not as obvious as they were before. And I feel like this is a really, really good detail. But yeah, I feel like all these small details, all these tiny details, like him making the noise when he's jumping, or making these small puffs when he's jumping, or even the uh, small footprints that he's leaving behind them, these details are just bringing the world alive, of course. And that's why the uh, Tiny Sasquatch game is going to look so good. Also, somebody was asking me about um, clothing, right? As you guys can see right now, uh, <clears throat> of course, we are able to see. If I make it visible, I can see the invisible stuff. And Sasquatch is always going to be wearing these hats, or you guys can see he's already having this um, shovel on his hands or the bag in his hands. These ones are usually invisible. They are always going to be in the game, but they are invisible. They're only going to activate a certain... Locations. For example, if you want to dig something, that's when you're going to be able to see the shovel. Uh, after you finish uh, digging the shovel, the hole, you're going to be able to see the bag. And also for the hat here, you're only going to be able to activate this one once you actually grab it from the sawmill. Uh, these are just variables that I'm going to be working on, right? So uh, the way I'm actually doing it, I'm simply jumping into the persistence over here and the variable itself. And what this is doing, I have items, right? So for example, her hat. If her hat here is zero, uh, if this one is saying that if her hat here is less than one, then it's gonna activate that hat. But if the her hat here is saying zero as it is right now, then the hat is not gonna be visible. It's that simple. It's pretty easy to do actually, pretty, pretty easy to do. And the way you can actually change this is, for example, if I go into, um, variables here. This is going to be the variable modifier, right? I set this one to 1. Uh, yeah, that's going to be 1. The name of the variable is going to be her hat. There we go. And we got to tell this one. When this one is 1, put it in the calculator. 
We get ourselves a animation right over here. Uh, we give the animation the command to turn the hat, her hat on, which is this thing, right? All we got to do is just activate it over here. Hold up, actually, all I got to do is just make it visible. Oh yeah, all we got to do is just uh, activate it, actually, which is like that. There we go. And now if I play, of course, Sasquatch doesn't have any hat on, right? But if I go over here and connect this one to it and play, uh, he doesn't have a hard hat on again. And the reason he doesn't because this one needs to be permanent. All right. So now if I play, he doesn't have a hard hat on. What the heck? <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Uh, do, 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 let's see, let's see. Oh, it is saying one. Yeah, so as you guys can see right now, this one is saying one, right? Uh, but for some reason, I have a glitch on the animation. I'm not quite sure exactly why it's doing it. Uh, because if I play now, it should be activating as soon as this timer goes to a uh, zero. Uh, 98. If it's equal to one, this should activate but it's not activating for some reason. Uh, let me go with this then. Equal to one. This should be activating. Why is it not working? I'm just trying to show you guys an example, but <laughs> for some reason, the hard hat doesn't want to activate. Uh, visible. There we go. Yeah, I'm having some glitches here, and I cannot show you guys exactly how this works, unfortunately. Uh, and I'm definitely going to stop trying it at the moment. But you guys understand the idea, right? That's how I got it to work. It is working. For some reason, at the moment, it doesn't want to work. I'm not going to show you why. Anyway. It will be a long time before the backpack will be implemented, along with the tools, disguise, food, etc. Um, not really. The backpack can easily be implemented into the game. I can always just go ahead and add a backpack to uh, its back over here. Um, <laughs> oh my god, facepalm. <laughs> yeah, sometimes there are some glitches in the game that I don't understand because I'm not a developer, as I keep on saying, guys, but I'm still learning. I'm still, still learning. So, the way you can actually go ahead and add a backpack, all I gotta do is just go over here. Let's go with pack. Pack. Whoa, look at this awesome backpack. And I think there are some backpacks that are also gonna have things dangling on them. I mean, this one looks absolutely epic. Look at that. And of course, I could have this one in the back. And whenever you actually get yourself a shovel, that's when the shovel activates on the side, right? Whenever you actually get yourself like a flashlight, then it activates on the side of the character. And I feel like this looks really, really epic. Still the truth. I mean, look at this one is gorgeous. But the problem is, as you guys can see, it's taking 40% of the graphics, which is way too much for a simple backpack to have uh, on Sasquatch. That's why I'm going to have to... Uh, think and see if uh, that's going to be worth adding uh, into the game. But at the moment, I just wanted to add it just to see how it looks. Uh, and I think I want to add it to this layer of Sasquatch over here. Make it a little bit smaller. A little bit to the back. All right, let's just it out. Let's see how it looks. All right, look at that. Sasquatch has a backpack. It is not difficult to add the backpack. Um... It's definitely difficult to do it. It is also kind of moving, as you guys can see. As Sasquatch is running, it's also kind of moving with him. It's also kind of pulling him on the side for some reason. So this backpack is definitely glitching Sasquatch out a little bit. Uh, it's not allowing me to move him properly. It's kind of dragging him a little bit to the side. I think it's uh, a little bit too heavy. That's why it's doing it. But that uh, I just wanted to add it so you guys can see how uh, a backpack would actually look on Sasquatch. Uh, the thing is, there are definitely some really, really impressive backpacks in here. Uh, for example, this one is just 1-1. One, one. This one only adds 1 to the graphics and 1 to the thermal, uh, to the gameplay. So that one is pretty simple. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a really, really difficult one that are going to have things dangling from it. And those ones are probably going to be really epic because if you do see in a game a backpack that has like a shovel dangling as you're running or, I don't know, stuff dangling, a uh, flashlight and stuff like that, they're adding it to it, it's probably going to make it even more interesting. I mean, look at the amount of backpacks they can put in here. 
Uh, yeah, the, the maps were definitely priority for myself when I started building this and then adding the logic. But the thing is, as I started adding more and more things to the game here, as, as much as I started building the, uh, the world here, I started kind of feeling I wanted to see how Sasquatch kind of feels in this game, how this would feel like a game, right? So then I started going into a little bit, into a, a little bit of the logic. <laughs> you are a kid, but you're a gamer kid. I mean, we're all we're all, we're all kind of kids, eh? <laughs> Every single one of us in today's live streams are kind of kids. Even I consider myself a kid because I absolutely love games, and I'm always always gonna love games myself. All right, let me keep on adding a little bit more of this grass because we are gonna have to start making the um, path. Uh, to go to the cave on this side eventually. All right. Let me also add in a few more trees on this side. Just like that. All right. Uh, next up, we got to look for a rock. And we have one rock that we kept on using on every single one of uh, our creations. And I'm going to be going with that one. Let's see if I can find that. And I think it's... Is it this one? No, it's not this one. I think it's this is the one, yeah, the great rock. So this is the rock that I kept on using on almost every single one of our builds here. First of all, we need one that's gonna be like that, pointing right on this side. A little bit here in the bushes. Perfect, like that. Uh, we are gonna need to copy paste this one into this side, change its perspective a little bit. And I think I want it over there. Maybe a little bit more to the um, left. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Keep up the good content. Thank you very much, buddy. Cheers. Thank you very much, and uh, thank you for joining the live stream. All right. Let's increase the size of this one a little bit here. Blank Blankness, you just sent me something on Discord. I'm not quite sure exactly what you sent me there, buddy, because I'm a little bit focused on uh, building here. But yeah, if you're trying to send me some links for other games in the Dreamiverse, feel free to do that on the Discord for sure. Uh, I may just have to make myself another channel on Discord that's all about dreams. All right, let me keep on getting this one going. Move that so that we can get this looking a little bit better and not as perfect, right? go. This one's gonna be a little bit smaller though. And going right about there. Also have another one on top of it. Just like that. All right, so all I'm trying to do right now is just build like a tiny wall that's gonna take us to uh, the cave at the RV camp. And from there, we're gonna continue on with the actual uh, mountain, I guess. One thing we're gonna have to do, right? Whenever you're going to this site, you don't really wanna see those mountains like that, so we gotta fix this up. The way I'm gonna fix it, of course, we gotta make sure these mountains kinda continue up to this side a little bit through the trees just to block up that area. So we don't really see here what we're trying to do here or what we're trying to hide here more like. Uh, build this one up over here. A little bit bigger. Zombs Royale, I've never heard of that game. Is that like a mobile game? It definitely sounds like a mobile game. It definitely, definitely sounds like a mobile game. Um, because if it is, you guys know that I don't really play mobile games on this channel. I think Sneaky Sasquatch is the only one. You can play on PC. Hmm, interesting. Alright, I think that is enough. If I look from this side, you definitely cannot see. Uh, the end there of the mountain, right? So that should be all yet. 
It's mobile NPC. All right, buddy. I will check it out and see if it's going to be the right fit for the channel, for sure. Thank you very much for telling me about it. All right, let me add a few more of these bushes, though. Uh, right over here. There we go. Now, more things that I'm going to have to <clears throat> more things that I'm going to have to keep on adding here <clears throat> uh, are definitely going to be some mushrooms. I'm thinking of making a quest of mushrooms where you're going to have to find mushrooms, collect a specific amount of mushrooms and bring them to the mushroom uh, guy because I am planning on making the mushroom guy, the mushroom hunter in the forest. So, if I'm going to make that one, why not also make a quest for him, right? Because one of the uh Things that you're gonna have to do here in the game you're gonna definitely have to uh, get yourself some tnt in order to open up some paths and the only way you're gonna be able to get the tnt is gonna be from the mushroom guy it, you're not gonna be able to get the tnt from anybody else so that's why we have to bring that guy in the, into the game uh let me also add in some more of these huge trees and this one's gonna be going one of them at least is gonna be going right over here And another one on this side. Just like that. Uh, let's add in more trees over here as well. A huge one. Another one. Let me also add a tree over here, I guess. Um, hey, Braxton. Welcome back, buddy. Add another tree, maybe like about here. Just like that. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to remove this chest because we definitely don't need it into this section. We are going to add that chest into the next one, all the way to the back there. I'm also going to have a special plan for this tree, uh, for this chest that we're going to be... Uh, able to collect in the RV camp, but I'm not going to reveal the secret just yet. <laughs> I'm definitely, definitely not going to talk about that one. That one is going to be just a secret. Uh, more thing that I want to add, though, I want to add... Actually, hold up. Before I do anything, let me select all the stones. I want to add these ones all to a uh, specific group. They're going to be part of the mountain, right? Let me see if I missed any. Did I? Yes, I missed this one. All right, we got all of them. Group, perfect. And now if I go back into the group, all I wanna do now is just copy paste a lot of these ones and make like a tiny rocks around the camp, right? For example, make this one really, really tiny. Place them like right about here next to this bush. Just like that. And these are just, as I was saying, really small details that probably most of you guys are not gonna notice when you're gonna be playing the game. But, I don't know. I just like details. I'm just a sucker when it comes to details in games. Small details like this, in my opinion, are what uh, are making the games better. I know uh, most people are not going to be able to notice them, but it's enough for me to notice them and uh, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be playing this game, of course, myself as well. I'm definitely going to be making a series out of this. Just to try to kind of show up uh, what I've built, for sure. All right, uh, let me go ahead and get me this RV on this side. Kind of try to make sure it's going to have its own fit. From here. All right, there we go. We got it. Do you guys want me to make these uh, RVs different? Do you want me to make them bigger, smaller? Uh, it is going to be a little bit extra work, of course, but I could definitely do it. The thing is, the thing is why I use these RVs, right? If I, don't do, if I go into Dreamiverse here, uh, of course, instead of making my own, uh, if I do go and search for RV, you can definitely find a few of them, but I'm not really happy with the ones that I keep on finding. Uh, I mean, this one kind of looks like the RV we want, but I really, really am not happy with the result of it. 
It's also kind of tilted on the side. I don't know whoever made this. They definitely didn't do a good job to uh, create that one. That's why I'm using this one. I'm kind of uh, really happy with this one. You should make them different. Yeah, I should make them a little bit different. Am I making this multiplayer? Uh, not at first, but I'm definitely thinking of making it multiplayer and maybe allow the members to play with me for sure. I'm not quite sure exactly how to make it multiplayer, but I know that it's possible. I definitely know that it's possible. Winter Bravuda. I mean, look at this thing. Oh, this one kind of looks really cool, though. You know what? I may actually want to use one of these RVs as well. Instead of just copy-pasting this one, uh, I may just want to add, I guess, this one in. Uh, the problem with this RV... You guys can see that it doesn't have a door, right? Whoever sculpted this RV uh, didn't really think about us uh, going inside it. I'm guessing this one is just for the looks of it, so I'm not going to be able to go inside this RV. But it definitely looks really special. What do you guys think? Should I just add this RV as well into the game? This is just going to be an asset, just something we can see from the distance. We're not going to be able to go inside it, though. Let me also add in something else. I want to try to add in a time of day. Uh, that's just a new tool that has been introduced into Dreams here. And I haven't experimented with it just yet, but I know that you can actually change the time of day. You and... Yeah, and make an, a tent too. Yeah, we're probably going to make a tent in the other section, right? I mean, this is an RV camp. It's not really like a... Um, tent camp. If you want to go for the tent, you got to go into the other camp. This one is only for RVs. Uh, what I wanted to do here is add a... Not calculate. What, did, what is the other tool? Can I find it? Uh, what is it in here? Oh yeah, it's the calendar. Never mind. Uh, so what I want to do... Start session time... Local time and date and current time. For example, if I connect this to this for the local time of date, this one is actually going to be pointing to the sun exactly how it's going to be in your world. For example, right now where I am, it's daytime. So that one is pointing up, right? Uh, if I am, for example, connecting this one to that. Actually, it's not doing anything. Hold up, hold up. Something's not right. Um, what is the tool that I'm looking for? I'm trying to make it nighttime. That's what I'm trying to do here. But I'm trying to use a slider instead. Mm. I guess I could use a simple slider to do it. Whatever. For example, as you guys can see, I can make it nighttime and daytime by simply pulling this slider like that. And of course, I could have this going into the game to have like a uh, nighttime and daytime. Uh, a Sasquatch is playing, but that's going to be uh, a little bit more difficult to do. And another important thing about making it nighttime, right? I don't have to just make it nighttime. I also have to take in consideration a lot of other things, such as natural light and other light elements that are going to be going into the game. Because if it is going to get completely nighttime, you're not going to be able to see anything. Um, but I haven't really thought about implementing anything like that into the game, like a nighttime. Uh, it could definitely be fun, for sure. But it would take me so much more work to uh, add that feature into the game. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to add the nighttime and daytime. It's probably going to be only daytime completely. Have I made the campground yet? Yes, I did, buddy. Yes, I did. Now I'm working on the RV camp because the campground is complete. As I was saying, this is going to be the last area. Of course, we are going to also have to make the cave, the two caves. Uh, and also, of course, not the last one, but we're also going to need to make the um, uh, Mushroom Hunter in its area as well, for sure. All right, uh, a few things that we're going to have to add around here, of course, are going to be some of the uh, pedestrians walking about. So let me add some of the characters in. Let's see if I can find my NPCs. So we do have the rangers that we can go ahead and add into the game, which is going to be this fella. Uh, we do have... The NPCs that we got to go ahead and add into the game, of course. So there's going to be another one here. 
Oh god, are you kidding me? Did we get ourselves some uh, crazy spammers in the chat? Sorry about that, guys. We gotta add this guy. We gotta hide this guy from the uh, <laughs> from the channel. Man, spams. It's impossible to stay away from spams. <laughs> Tinder. I've never used Tinder. I think when Tinder kind of came out, uh, I already was uh, engaged with my fiance, so I never used Tinder. I guess if, I guess if I was uh, solo, I would have probably used Tinder. I don't know. I don't even know. I never ever managed to use it before. Hey, don't worry about it, buddy. Thank you very much for joining, uh, Sutur Sun. Right, so what we gotta do here is make this guy do a little bit of a uh, roaming on its own, right? So let me activate this and deactivate this. There we go. Uh, sorry, then let me click on him. Don't worry about it, buddy. I uh, I went ahead and disabled them. Yeah, it's weird when uh, these type of spams are showing up, but thankfully I could block them there. All right, and now if I check the game out, look at that. We have the rangers walking about. We have these guys just roaming into the uh, RV camp, enjoying themselves. You can even go ahead and interact with them. Eventually, I didn't have, uh, I didn't interact, I didn't add that interaction just yet. But the ranger is gonna be somebody that's gonna be chasing you if he sees you. So as you guys can see, I already added all the logic into the ranger. I already added uh, everything in it, right? So that means whenever I simply walk in front of the ranger, he's gonna start chasing me, whatever I place it. So now that we're done with making the logic on the ranger and also the animation on him and everything, I don't really have to focus on anything else. All I gotta do is just, I guess, um, play the game and he's definitely gonna catch me if I don't pay attention. I love it that it's that easy. Once you're done animating everything into them, all you gotta do is just copy paste them into your new scenes and it's all gonna work perfectly. Now, as I was saying, as you guys can see, we already reached a half of gameplay and graphics memory. Uh, and because of this, we're not gonna have all the RV done right in this scene. Uh, we're only gonna have the A and B uh, scenes in here. Uh, maybe even the cave in this scene. I think we can also fit the cave in this one. But the next scene is gonna be on the uh, the next part of the uh, RV camp is gonna be on a different scene. Uh, I do want to start it up on this one because I want to have it visible a little bit. But I'm gonna put as less details into that one as I possibly can. Uh, can you add it to the rest of the maps, please? Uh, what do you mean, the 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 ranger or what? Are you talking about the ranger legendary? Max Smith, can I look at your last message, please? Uh, if you can type it in again, buddy, I could probably try to check it out. But uh, I'm not going to scroll through the chat right now to find that. Sorry. There's a little bit too many uh, messages in the chat for me to just scroll through all of them. Uh, let me go ahead and grab this tool so I make sure these uh, bushes are not going to go too deep into the ground. Over here. Grab another bush like that. Hey, I see that there are tiny lines almost separating each section into blocks. Will we smooth those out or look normal? Unfortunately, you cannot really smooth those out. That's gonna just have to stay like that, unfortunately. Uh, the reason this is happening is because, as you guys can see, if I move this one around, and when you're connecting them, you are gonna see that uh, line of... Um, that line of... Um, grass I guess right showing up um, this this is really not visible when you're going into the campground the campground of stinky Sasquatch uh, and that's because in that area I've actually built up the entire world a little bit differently um, but that is not really the best way to do it because I was going through the graphics thermal a little bit too fast and this is where I just wanted to um, just create these tiles um, to me it's not really affecting me of course when you're running with Sasquatch a little bit right that you can kind of see them but eventually you're gonna get used to them I think and uh, I believe they're gonna be all good that's why I'm not planning on changing them at the moment they are gonna stay as they are all right so we got that going um, as I was saying you're gonna be able to go inside this one because we already animated everything for this one um, what do we got to do here next let's see
Two. Uh, yes, I already connected the whole map together. Yeah. So this one we need to save and also make sure this one's gonna be called, as I was saying, uh, RV Camp, right? So let's go with the game. Let's go with RV Camp One. Yeah, first time, the first time I started making those uh, tiles for the grass, uh, when I saw them combining like this and uh, having those lines visible, it kind of pissed me off a little bit, to tell the truth, because I'm kind of a perfectionist. But after that, I figured out that if I'm going to keep on focusing on all details constantly and keep on making all these details, uh, keep on paying too much attention to details, it would probably I would probably not finish uh, building this world anytime soon. Uh, so that's why I decided to not pay too much attention to it and just go with uh, what is going to work there. All right, let me get this one to a green color scheme. It's going to be like a uh, park area, right? Uh, let me jump out of it. Let me go into the main map. Uh, actually, let me show you guys what I was talking about. Uh, so if I go into the main, main the, into the first area over here, because this is the first part that I built in Sneaky Sasquatch, you can see that this one doesn't have any tiles, right? It also has like a lot of hills, and uh, that's making this main area the perfect one, the best one so far, I think, because I built this one the first, and I feel like this looks so natural, so much better than all the rest of them. But I kind of like all of them, to the truth, altogether. Even if uh, I just wanted to leave this one like this to be a little bit more interesting than the other ones. Right, and the other ones are a little bit different because they have been prepared a little bit for the campers and for the RVs uh, passing by. And of course, this one doesn't have any lines or anything. All right, so what I got to do next is let me skip out of this one, let me go into the main actual area here so that we can connect the RV as well. Oh, I cannot connect the RV because I didn't make any portals. So let me go back into the RV camp, select. Uh, let me make the doorways, right? So we are going to need the doorway over here. And then I'm going to show you the campground as well as we're going to make our way through this one. So we need to add in the... Let's see. First of all, area that's going to detect Sasquatch. Next up, uh, we need the portal over here. This doorway is going to say... Actually, first of all, let's make the animation. Like in Sneaky Sasquatch. This and this. Perfect. Let's get this one a little bit lower. So this one's going to spawn uh, Sasquatch in. And this one's going to detect Sasquatch. And this one's going to detect Sasquatch from this side all the way to... Actually, I think I made... Yeah, I think I made two zones, right? If I'm not mistaken. So that's going to be for this entrance and another one for the path. Because I want to spawn the Sasquatch on this one or either on this one. Just because it's going to be a little bit more interesting, I guess. Uh, let me take this one all the way to the grass. All right, this one's going to be called I'm not sure exactly what the names were. I guess I'm going to have to go back and uh try to see. Let me just make it uh like that for now. All right, let me connect this one to this. Let me also save for a second. Let me go into the uh, into the uh camper into the Rangers campground. Uh, so that we can see what names I put on the doorways there. So if I go into this one. Let me give it a that so I don't mess it up. Uh, what did I update here? Oh, Sasquatch has been updated. Seriously? I don't remember what I updated here. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Oh, never mind. We do have only one path. Yeah, all right, all right. Never mind. So this one's going to be RV Campground. All right. So we know the name. Let me go back then. Go back into the campgrounds for the RVs. So it's going to be RV campgrounds. Camp. Rounds. All right. Also, we got to move this one and this one all the way to the right side over here. Just like that. And this trigger zone is going to have to be all the way to here. So wherever you go, you are going to have, you're going to be spawned on the path. Perfect. Hello, can you say hi? Fox and Check, welcome. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the live stream. Uh, we also have Arvanov Galaxy and Ibrahim Salam. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the live stream. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, okay, so we got the path designed. Uh, this one's now going to allow us to connect it, right, to um, the next area. Uh, I could also bring this one in. 
Oh, we have this one. Hold up. Let me also copy paste all this stuff. Do -do -do. All the way over here and also do a little bit of that. Oh god, I did not want to copy paste that. Um, this is what I needed. All right, so this one's gonna be the entrance for our V2. So let's see. This one's gonna be saying RV2. And the zone, the trigger zone is gonna be a little bit actually, it's okay. It doesn't have to be smaller. Only this one, we gotta reduce its size. All right, so if you go through this side, we're gonna go into the other side of the RV camp. If you go through the other side, you're gonna be going into the, um, um why do I have a, a uh, <laughs> into Rangers camp, all right? Just like here, right? So all I gotta do now is just connect them into the main game. Edit, these ones have been updated. Let me also add in the campground, RV camp. This one is gonna have the following. Oh, why do I have three on them though? That's two. Why do we have two doors? I think I must have copied a few of them. Yeah, hold on a minute. I don't know what I did there. Keep on messing up here. Did I copy two of them? Nope, that's for the puddle. Oh, yes, I did. Never mind. So that needs to go. And this one as well. Mistakes? Mistakes. Are you kidding me, buddy? What the heck? Isn't this guy already spent? Uh... Find. God dang it, dudes. This guy is annoying. So annoying. Reports. Let me report it to YouTube so that they remove him. Reports. There we go. Hopefully, he's gonna get removed completely. Uh, what game is this? This game is called Tiny Sasquatch. It's not done yet because I keep on building it right now. We're still uh, developing it. All right, let me jump back into the game now. We're just gonna be right over here. Edit this one a little bit. Okay, and again, as I was saying, we gotta add in the campgrounds. So this is gonna be RV campground connecting with RV campground, just like that. Perfect. And this one's gonna be connected with the RV2, right? But I haven't designed that one just yet. Thank you very much, uh, Braxton, for blocking that dude again. So annoying. So annoying. All right, we got that going. Let's save. Okay, and... Let's view... Uh, let me actually make my way to the home, right? Right over here. Because we want to go through the home all the way to the campground and through the ranger's cabin, right? So we have this path over here. This one is going to eventually allow us to go to um, this path. Just like that. We are now in the campground. You guys can already see some people walking about. I cannot wait to actually add some uh, quests for them as well. go if I go through this one this is gonna take us to the next scene as you guys can see right now just like that we also added the water effect in here whenever Sasquatch is walking another awesome effect as you guys can see he is uh, a little bit wet all the way to the waist which is really really cool these are just small details, as I was saying, that I absolutely love in games, and that's why I wanted to add them into the game. If you jump out of the water, you guys can see that the wet is going to go away from Sasquatch. If he jumps back in, he is becoming wet again. And if he goes inside here, he actually becomes wet all around. But then, when he goes out of the waterfall, he just gets a little bit dried up. Look at that. Man, I absolutely love these details. Look at that. That works so good. Alright, perfect. Um... We got the wet effect going. Let me make my way then to the ranger's cabin over here. Just like that. 
right, the Ranger's cabin is working. Everything is connecting. Next up, let me make my way to the RV camp. And there we go. It is working perfectly. Love it. So we got this one connected as well. We just have a few more areas. Oh my god, I completely forgot about this guy. I got scared. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck, dude? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. He's so fast. Especially when he's jumping. The way he's jumping, he's getting so much speed when he's jumping. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> oh, this time he didn't get any speed. Oh, okay. So he's getting glitched out a little bit. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Why do you keep on getting glitched like that? Yeah, whenever he's making a jump for some reason. Kind of getting stuck on something. Not sure exactly what that's all about. But he eventually got me. Never mind. What is this game? This is called Dreams, what I'm building here. I'm actually building Tiny Sasquatch in Dreams. Uh, Dreams is only available for the PlayStation, so you're not going to be able to find this anywhere else. All right, we found the second coin. Awesome. Uh, I'm not quite sure exactly how many coins I want when I'm grabbing these psychic coins. I'm guessing maybe like... 20 or 10 coins, something like that. Because you're not gonna be able to make like infinite amount of coins as you're making in Stinky Sasquatch. Uh, Tiny Sasquatch here is gonna be a little bit different, the way it's gonna work. All right, so we got that one connected. Uh, let's go back into the RV and carry on with the build. Fun, I recently got into Stinky Sasquatch. Awesome, buddy, I think uh, you're pretty new to the game, eh? So if you did get uh, pretty recently to Stinky Sasquatch, that means you're also pretty new to the channel here. So uh, thank you very much for joining, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. And thank you very much for joining the live stream. I will be making some Sneaky Sasquatch live streams as well, of course. But I'm just waiting for more updates for the game to arrive. And then I'm going to be uh, making more Sneaky Sasquatch live streams. Me personally, I'm not really a huge fan of uh, keep on replaying the same thing over and over again. Uh, so that's why I keep on waiting for the updates to come out. If Sneaky Sasquatch was a multiplayer game, I would definitely play it more and more. But I don't feel like it is a good idea to keep on playing a game once you finish up the story in it. Um, I, I guess, me personally at least, I'm getting bored of it quite fast. And I do need new stuff myself. Alright, let's bring this one over here. Let's see what other things we gotta add in, right? I think what I wanna add, I think I wanna add a few more of those stones around. So let me try to copy some more of these ones. Just like that. Come on, buddy. There we go. I don't want to add too many because I don't want to go too uh, expensive on the graphics here. But just a few of them to kind of make this area feel a little bit more wild instead of a uh, perfect location. All right, just like that. A few stones around should do. Uh, let me also go with this tool. Because I also want to rotate them a little bit sometimes so that they're not all going to be the same. Do you have any ideas of what to play? Uh, what do you mean, what to play? What to play in dreams or? I'm also trying to feature some of the most amazing creations uh, made in dreams myself. Uh, I already have a few series on this channel where I only show the best creations in dreams. So uh, I do recommend checking those out if that's what you mean. Right, uh, next up, let me expand all the way to here so that we can start working on the bear, right? I feel like we already started adding this area, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep on expanding a few more of these blocks so that we can start making the entrance to the cave. I think the entrance for the cave is going to start uh, showing up over here, yeah. All right, let's go with that. Another small block, maybe like over here. There we go. Really? 
bring another one to this side, rotate so it doesn't look like the same. And this is gonna be the entrance inside the cave eventually. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good like that. And from this point, we gotta start working on actually adding the uh, cave entrance. I mean, we are doing pretty good on the graphics here, so I think we should be able to do this right. Uh, keep on adding, oh, nope. Keep on adding more of these, a little bit bigger. And let me start making the entrance for the cave here. We are gonna make uh, every single one of these caves, the entrances at least, look uh, quite creepy because I do believe myself that it's pretty creepy uh, to go inside a cave. Doesn't matter how big or small it is. It is still gonna be a dark place, right? All right. Of course, once we go inside the uh, cave here, it is gonna be a portal, which means we are gonna be going into a separate uh, scene. We cannot make the interior of the uh, cave into the same scene. Uh, that's gonna be an issue. We definitely wanna avoid issues like that. Don't wanna reach the graphics limit. All right, that's gonna be the entrance. Perfect, we just gotta add a few more to close it up. Now, one thing that I noticed and I'm definitely gonna start adding are definitely gonna be some vines uh, just to try to make these cave entrances look a little bit more interesting. Just some, just some uh, vines, just some bushes maybe at the top of the cave just to make it look a little bit more special. All right. Now, don't worry about being able to see the back of the cave here because we are gonna cover that up uh, with some other elements. Uh, first of all, let me bring in Let's see, some more tiles. So we're gonna need a dirt tile as well brought over. Uh, that I think I can find into the group here. There we go. Uh, let me actually grab me this tool so that we can be precise with the placement. My God, this guy is an absolute menace. Are you kidding me game? There we go. Another one reported. Perfect. At least he cannot post any links in, which is great. I don't know how he keeps on... Braxton, why do you keep on hiding him, buddy? I keep on hiding him, you keep on hiding him. What are you doing, dude? You gotta let him uh, be hidden. <laughs> there you go. If I uh, already hidden him, don't press on the hide button, uh, unhide button again. Or are we actually doing it at the same time? I'm not even sure what's happening there. <laughs> right, let's do that. Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with that Tinder person. He is really annoying. I'm guessing spams. I'm guessing a lot of spams. I think we are doing it at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I think we are. I guess I'm a little bit faster than you, eh? Uh, let's remove that one, bring this one over like this. There we go. And perfect. Hey, Riley, welcome back, buddy. All right, so at the moment, we're trying to do uh, the cave area. Let me see if I can bring this one over to my screen here and uh, start working on it. It is really looking pretty big on my screen, but I'm not going to make it that big. I'm probably going to make it a little bit shorter. Uh, another thing that I want to do. Hold on a minute. Uh, let me bring in this one over. There we go. I think I want to make this one bigger, just like that. And I want to make like a custom path through the grass. There we go. All 
right, let me bring this one in. And I'm just gonna leave this one over here because we are gonna have to make like a custom path, right? Through um, through the grass there. So let me do that right now. If I jump in like that, let me grab me the circle, color green, uh, get this tool and let me make like a, a custom path to take us inside the um, cave here. There we go. Right, I want it to be really, really natural. So that's why I'm gonna make it a little bit crazy. Just like that, maybe. Maybe a little bit less, actually a little bit more walled over here. Just like that, and a little bit more over here. All right, perfect. So this is gonna be the entrance inside the cave. Um, we have to keep on expanding, of course. So what I'm gonna be doing, let me get a few more of these grassy pads, just like that. Uh, I know that these look annoying, these lines where the uh, tiles are connecting, but it is what it is. I would love not to have them, but at the same time, I wanna make sure that the thermals are gonna be all good when we are gonna be releasing this game. And the good the thermals are, the more things I'm gonna be able to add into the game, of course, at the same time. All right, let's see. Yes, I'm making the cave. Uh, let me get rid of uh, some more of these rocks over here. Just like that. I do want to leave a few of them, but some of them I just want them to be removed. Just a few of them closer to uh, the cave, actually. Yep, just like that. Perfect. All right. Uh, let me just copy a few of these boulders over. Uh, let me also go ahead and see if I can find some vines, right? I did say that I want to see some vines uh, on the entrance here. And I think if I go ahead and uh, search for plant, I think I saw one really, really cool. So let me go with plant again. Uh, yeah, this is the one that I saw, the hanging plants too. I mean, look at these ones. These ones look really awesome. Oh yeah, I like it. I think I like these ones for sure. If I do manage to uh, kind of attach them over here somehow like that. Oh yeah, this looks so good for the uh, for the cave for sure. So let me add one over here. Another one on this side. And look at this, it feels so natural. So much better. There we go. And we also have one of my favorite songs that I have on the playlist. Oh, are you kidding me, dudes? Is this guy seriously not gonna disappear? Wow. <laughs> Braxton, you keep on hitting hide and then hide again. <laughs> you gotta hit on just once, buddy. <laughs> that is funny. Um, I'm not sure exactly why this guy keeps on popping up in the chat, though. I reported him, I removed him. I'm guessing what he's doing is probably changing his name again. I also blocked him at the same time. <laughs> so annoying. Yeah, I'm gonna figure out who that is and uh, I will block him eventually completely. All right, let me make this one a little bit bigger though compared to the other ones. Just like that. Yeah, you just gotta press once Braxton and that's it, don't worry about it. It's most probably a bot for sure. Most probably a bot. I don't want to get into the uh, specifics of it, but uh, recently Romania had quite a lot of attacks uh, from hackers. 
because of uh, what's happening in Ukraine right now. So uh, I'm gonna just, that's all I'm gonna say. I don't wanna get into uh, many details as uh, this channel is not about that stuff and I don't wanna get into the politics or anything like it. All right, let's get this one expanded over here. Just like that. Close this one in. There we go, close it in over there. All right, that's gonna be it. I just tuned in, I didn't know it was that guy. <laughs> Yeah, if you guys uh, feel like he is disturbing you guys, just block him yourselves as well, and you're definitely not going to be able to see those messages anymore. Even if uh, they're going to pop in the chat, they're not going to be visible. Alright, uh, let me actually remove a little bit of that. Let me make another path over here, a little bit different. Just like that. Uh, there is going to be another digging hole at the back here eventually, right? That's what we actually want to receive here. And of course, we are going to have to bring in the bear. Which this one is going to be a different bear than the one at our house and the one at the uh, sawmill. At least I'm going to be trying to make him look a little bit different. Uh, oh, hold up. What do we got here? This is an issue. We got to bring over this one close in the gap just like that and maybe a little bit more it's closing the gap even more Fran welcome welcome to the live stream welcome welcome There we go. That goes perfectly. Just like that. And one over here. All right, I think this should do for the uh, cave as well. It's really happy that we managed to combine the RV camp uh, the cave and then all we're gonna have to do is make the second part of the RV camp and we're still good on the graphics here I'm gonna save the graphics here the memory on it because we are gonna have to add a few characters in and they are gonna take a lot of energy as well uh, I don't have the spaghetti place buddy fox and chick I haven't uh, I haven't done that and I don't think I will make the spaghetti place into uh, my tiny game here either Right, I do have the town. I did make the town, but uh, I'm not gonna be making the spaghetti place. I do have a, pl a pizza place in the game though. <laughs> I did uh, manage to make a pizza place in the game. All right, we got a few bushes over here. I think I'm gonna need a few more bushes on this side as well. Just like that. Uh, let me go ahead and add in the bear as well, I'll add it. Now, another thing that I want to make, let's see if I can find some vines, right? So we got those vines, but I want to have more. Vine... Like that. Mm, look at this. Even these ones look pretty cool. These ones are really tall ones, right? Uh, these ones are more like for uh, water. I love that you can find so many assets in dreams. People have created so many assets, it's crazy. Uh, let me actually jump into these ones, and I think I'm gonna copy paste these one a couple of times instead for the entrance, just to try to make this entrance even more interesting. I'll just make like a few more levels of it. Just to kind of try to hide the entrance here through, uh, through the vines, right? Put another big tree in the cave place. Yeah, we're definitely gonna add more trees over there as well. I think I'm gonna add like uh, three of them, actually, not just one. Let me first of all copy paste this. Increase the size of this one because it was a little bit too small. 
Oh yeah, this looks so much better now. And add a few more of these in the back there. This is definitely going to look a little bit more interesting now when Sasquatch is going to try to go inside the cave. Uh, I'm also going to cover the entrance of the cave here with some uh, mist, of course. So, yeah. Can you show me the pizza place, please? <laughs> um, not planning on showing... Uh, maybe at the end of the live stream. Just stick on the live stream a little bit more and probably going to show you guys the town um, a little bit later on, closer to the end of the live stream, for sure. All right, let's get this one going over here. I want to have some of these vines at the top as well, not just at the entrance there. Yeah, maybe like here a little bit on the sides. Like that. Coming out of the uh, rock formation there a little bit. Oh yeah, much, much better. Uh, let me grab me another one. Bring it over here to the sides. When am I ending? I'm not quite sure. I think I want to. I feel like I want to finish the RV camp here, and then I'm gonna finish. Uh, this live stream is already long enough. It's three hours, but we're fine. Don't worry about it. I was definitely planning on doing a longer live stream today, since uh, we skipped yesterday's live stream. Right, I think uh, this looks really good on the side a little bit there. Perfect. Can we make it even a little bit bigger if you want to. All right, that's more like it. Uh, let me bring Sasquatch over and see how that area looks. Water. Water is so good. Um, let's see here. So, oh yeah, the entrance definitely looks amazing. Love it. I kind of like the look of it. Uh, but we're also going to have to make it a little bit more interesting. So. All right, thank you very much for joining so far, Legendary. Thank you very much, buddy. And also, thank you very much for the donation and the only donation in today's live stream. But that's fine. Don't worry about it. Thank you very much for supporting, buddy. Uh, let me go ahead and add in another... Uh, fog over here, right? That's what I want to add. So let's go with this fog. Just like that. Don't know what I increased there, but anyway. This is what I wanted to increase, actually. This one's going to be going a little bit into the cave like this. Uh, let me make the color of the cave maybe brown or maybe like a yeah like that color and definitely more dark like this increase the uh, amount of uh, fog there so that we can see the back of it just like that increase the animation let me go with a more reddish color and darker there we go all right that looks much better shout out for my mom it's her birthday happy birthday uh king boo i guess <laughs> hopefully i pronounce it right uh kyung boo there we go happy birthday um Okay, so we got this one going over here. I mean, it looks okay. It's not as dark as I would like it to be, though. Um, if I go completely dark... Ooh, oh, yeah. Making it completely dark is definitely the way to go. Look at that. That looks pretty sick. Oh, yeah. Now it looks really, really creepy to go inside this, uh, this cave. Are you kidding me? Look at this. We definitely got the result that I was really, really looking forward to. I mispronounced it. I, I had no idea how to uh, spell that, buddy. Kyung Woo? <laughs> I'm not sure exactly. All right, perfect. I kind of like the entrance, actually. It's looking really, really creepy. Now, we are going to have something here. I'm not going to allow Sasquatch to go in unless he has a flashlight. Uh, whenever he's going to go inside here, if I don't have the flashlight, he's going to be kicked out of it. Uh, we're also going to need, of course, the bear. 
So let me bring over the bears while we're at it. Made thousands of rangers in the cave. <laughs> we're not going to have any rangers in the cave. What are you talking about? The cave is just going to be about exploration like a dungeon. I don't want to have any bears inside there at all. Uh, let me bring the bear over. Which is this fella. Looks good. Yeah, it definitely looks really, really good. It looks kind of creepy, right? Dark like this. Uh, let me get this guy over here. There we go. Now, I was trying to figure out how to get the uh, bear here to sit on his bum. I didn't really figure out exactly how to properly do it. So I'm definitely going to have to uh, work a little bit more on this. Um, I guess I could... Try to do it again. Let me try to do it again, actually. Let me go and disable the movement on him. And if I do that, he shouldn't be moving anymore, right? Which means I could just move around his things. Um, hold up. Let me see what else I should disable on him so that he stops moving. All right, this is the movement that we got disabled on him. And now... He's not going to be turning around, right? Only the head is going to be the one that want, I want to turn. Um, so let me see if I can figure out how to animate him uh, sitting on his bum. Mm. I mean, I guess I can pull this one up like that. Actually, hold up. Let me see if I can grab both of them at the same time. Mirror. There we go. All right. So we got both of the feet up. I guess I can just have him sitting on his bum like this. <laughs> the thing is, I want him to sit like a uh, an actual bear. So let me get him to sit down. There we go. Uh, oh, there we go. He is sitting. Easy. I mean, I was trying to animate him sitting when I first started uh, playing him uh, dreams here, and I didn't really know exactly what I was doing. But now that I got so much experience with dreams, I definitely got better at it. I should turn him on his belly. Yeah, for sure. We got to turn him a little bit on his belly if you want him to move properly, right? Which means I got to probably do a little bit of that and then move his legs up. Right, there we go. Uh, the hands also need to move. Oh, why is this one turning like that? <laughs> I mean, I know I have the mirror on, but that was weird. Let me get this one over. Also get this one over here. There we go. Um, get this one like that. This one over here. This arm is a little bit weird though for some reason. I'm not sure exactly what's happening there. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure the legs should be just the way I actually made them right now. Maybe make him a little bit like that because he does have quite a bit of a belly. Oh. Stop the mirror so that the hands don't go crazy again. I think the hands are going to be sitting probably on his uh, feet over here. Although the thing about the bear is that he's also going to be waving as he's going to see me. So hopefully I'm not going to mess up the um, arms too much. Because we already have that animation going into the uh, bear. I mean, that kind of works. Yeah, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. What do you guys think about it? Uh, I just got to figure out the hands. I definitely cannot put the fan, the hands in front of him because the puppet is not really aligned properly for that animation. So we're probably going to have the hands um, sitting on the side of the, his body here. Yeah, maybe like this on uh, his knee, right? Maybe that should work a little bit better. Uh, let me get this going like this so that we can move these arms a little bit better here. I guess I can have this hand holding his... Uh, feet like that <laughs> there you go he looks like he's doing <laughs> to hug us. he's going to hug us <laughs> he definitely looks like a really big uh plush toy eh? all right let me get them holding his feet i think that's uh, what i'm gonna have him holding his feet like that there we go much better all right look at that it works all right let's test it out now let's see what's gonna happen once i'm gonna animate him as well 
Don't forget to put the treasure map piece in there. Of course, I'm going to put the treasure map piece in the uh, cave buddy. But it's going to be really, really complicated to grab it. It's going to be like a platform again we're going to have to do. Look at that. He's also waving. Uh, the waving animation on him is a little bit weird, though, because the animation waving has actually been designed when, Sasqu when uh, the bear was actually sitting in on his feet. And because of that, it feels a little bit weird. So we are going to have to fix that one up. Another thing that we got to fix is uh, we got to stop him rotating when he sees me. Um, so let me do a few things here. First of all, let me remove the animation of him waving at us. This bear is going to be a really lazy bear. So we're not going to have the animation for him waving at us. Jump animation and run animation. Nope, we don't need that one. Uh, so let me go into look at player. I don't need him to look at me anymore when he sees me. Uh, I don't need him to wave at me either. So let me remove the wave animation. Uh, and I think... Hand animation. Uh, oh, he's going to be doing the hand animation where he's going to be talking with me. I don't know if I need that one either. Let's just try it out, I guess, just to see how it goes. But I don't think I need it. As you guys can see, he's not waving anymore, and that is definitely what we need, right? <laughs> oh my god, what is he doing with the hands? We definitely don't need that. We definitely, definitely don't need that. As I was saying, the animation for the hands waving uh, and also moving as he's talking with us, those have actually been animated when, uh, sat, when uh, the, um, the bear he was standing. And those are not going to apply anymore. So let's remove that as well. Let's remove that as well. I don't even know if I'm going to need to have him talking to Sasquatch. He's probably only talking to Sasquatch, telling him about the uh, light, uh, flashlight when he wants to go inside the actual cave there. So let's also remove that one. Trash quest barrier variable. I'm going to leave that one for now until I'm going to figure it out. And that is going to be it for now. All right, we got ourselves the bear. That is awesome. Uh, the bear is also... Uh, actually, is he turning around? I'm not sure. I think he's not, actually. I think he's not going to be turning around anymore on his uh, little bum. He's probably only going to be turning his head. That's all I want. Yep, he's only going to turn his head. Perfect. That is what I want, buddy. <laughs> Look at this guy. But of course, another thing that we got edit with this fella, this is going to be a brown bear, right? Because the only bear that's going to be uh, black is going to be the one uh, at the sawmill. So let's also jump into the bear and start coloring him a little bit. Uh, this one's going to be brown. So let me bring in the brown color. Oh, God. Uh, these are going to be only the feet. Yeah, I guess I could make his feet a little bit lighter, right? But only... Part of the feet here and I think I want to go with um, this color instead for the feet All right, there we go. That has been completed. Uh, next up, we got to jump into this brand color. Will this map be playable for other people? Yes, it will. Yes, it will once I'm going to be done with it. I just have so much more work to put on it, though. Nobody, I want his feet, not the grass. Uh, anyway, let's grab the hands next. Hands, the hands over here, I guess. Oh god, I don't want to do the whole of it. Only the bottom part. A little bit over here. A little bit over here as well. There we go. Paint it up the face. Let's paint, paint up the head. Let's go with the ears next. There's one. Two. Next up, we got this part. I gotta make sure I don't paint the belly, though. I do want the belly to be still lying, uh, a little bit lighter. Alright, let me go with the back side of the legs. 
And lastly, this piece over here that I don't understand why it's messing up so much. Why doesn't this one apply? Oh, there we go, there we go. We got it, we got it. Uh, I kind of... <laughs> it's a little bit too light, though, for some reason. Hmm, I should have used a more brownish color. What platforms will we be able to play this game on? Uh, on the PlayStation. Because this is being created in Dreams, and Dreams is only available for the PlayStation. Now, hold up. I think the color that I chose here isn't right. I think I should have went with a... Uh, much darker brown color. Yeah, maybe like this, for sure. So let me change this again. Alright, let me fix this up. Maybe like that. Uh, PS5 as well, it doesn't have to be only PS4, yeah. PS5 or PS4. It works on both of them. I started building the Tiny Sasquatch game here on the PlayStation 4, but now I'm actually building it on the PlayStation 5. It does have a cross-platform, so don't worry about it. If you have both, you can play it on either. But of course, if you're playing on the PlayStation 4, it's gonna be much, much better. Uh, much faster as well, of course. But you do have to have dreams. Um, this Tiny Sasquatch game is going to be free. I'm not, of course, getting any money out of it. Um, but even in order to play it, you do have to have dreams installed on your PlayStation. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, you do have to pay for dreams. All right, there we go. We've got one ear over here. One ear over here. And I think uh, almost got it all. Got an issue over here that we gotta fix. All right, I think uh, I think this color is much much better. You only have a PlayStation Four? That's fine. It is gonna work on PlayStation Four, so don't worry about it. It's still gonna work great on the PlayStation Four because the game has actually been created on the PlayStation Four first, and then of course uh, has been applied to work on the PlayStation Five. So it is gonna work just great. Don't worry about it. You're not gonna have any issues. All right. First thing is first, uh, hold up. This thing needs to go up here. Uh, this bubble needs to come at the bottom, almost on his head. It was so high because he was sitting, right? He was sitting on his feet, but now because he's sitting down, uh, the bubble here needs to be lower. All right, and same for the uh, bubble for him to talk. I think I'm gonna add the animation for him to tell me something. I'm not quite sure exactly, but I still wanna have the talk button here. A little bit lower right perfect and now if you check it out there we go buddy this looks so much better we got the proper color for him and everything <laughs> all right now what he's gonna do what the bear here is gonna do is gonna tell us that we cannot go inside the cave without the flashlight and i feel like i either want to have the flashlight being something i'm gonna be purchasing from the raccoon or maybe i gotta bring something to this bear so that he can give it to me not 100% sure, but I guess we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, one more thing that I want to do. Uh, I want to bring over the digging hole, right? This one. Uh, this digging hole needs to come on over to the bear. I'm going to go look on Sasquatch and see if he's sitting down. <laughs> I was actually thinking of making an animation for Sneaky Sasquatch of him uh, just sitting down, right? Of him getting bored of just... Uh, me not using, not uh, doing anything with him, and then eventually, the idle animation, of course, I'm talking about, and eventually he's gonna be sitting down. That's kind of one idle animation I'm thinking of adding into the game, of just Sasquatch deciding to sit down a little bit. Maybe at one point also uh, hitting like a rock, because he's getting bored of you guys not moving him. These idle animations are definitely giving so much more soul to your characters in games. That's why I also decided to add it into a uh, tiny Sasquatch here as well. All right, this one needs to be a little bit smaller though, a little bit different size maybe. All right, we added these ones. Uh, let me go ahead and add more of these bushes around, which are gonna be a combinations of these ones quite a couple of times here.
go. Let me grab some of the small ones as well. Put a few of them at the entrance over here. Another one there. Will we get to finish the cave? Ah, uh, we are gonna finish the cave. I don't think I'm gonna start it up in today's live stream, though. No, uh, today's live stream is only gonna be about the um, RV camp, though. I do want to start working on the other side of the RV camp at least a little bit, so that we can see it from uh, from the distance, right? Leonardo, welcome, buddy. Welcome to the live stream. Alright, so we got this part done. Um, I feel like it's looking great. Man, but I'm really, really happy with the result of the entrance in the cave. This this kind of feels really, really uh, scary. Uh, one thing that I want to add here, though. I want to add, like, a sound coming from the cave, right? Um, so let's see if I can hear something here that's going to kind of give me the impression that there's something creepy inside. So let's go with cave sound, maybe. Uh, let's go with sound effects. Ambient cave. So this is going to be an ambient cave that we already got. Cave in. I don't want to cave in. Ooh, cave atmosphere. That's what I wanted. Uh, drippy cave. I mean, we already added the drippy cave effect. Um, I think I want something a little bit different, though. Cave monster! Oh my god! <laughs> oh well. Let's see. We also have the Minecraft cave sound. Look at that. <laughs> cave atmosphere. I think uh, the cave atmosphere may be what I need. Um, the thing about this one is that again we gotta have this sound, right? This sound needs to be a little bit bigger, so that we can actually hear it from inside the cave here. Just like that. Um, while we're at it, I also want to have an echo. So let's add an echo. Just like that. Uh, let me reduce the sound of this one to about, I guess, 50%. Let's just see how it goes. Ooh. I mean, I'm really, really liking this. Really, really liking this so far. And if I leave, we cannot hear anymore. Interesting. I feel like I gotta reduce a little bit of the sound, right? Uh, so, let me do a little bit of effect here again. Let me go inside it and reduce this. Only to hear it when we're getting really, really close to it. Okay. That's not bad. That is actually not that bad. Terminal YouTube. Uh, I watch all your guides in Sneaky Sasquatch and they help out quite a lot. Thank you very much, buddy. Cheers. Alright, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It's kind of giving us the vibe that something is inside there, right? Uh, we are hearing the cave inside there. Uh, let me also add in something more, a few more details. Let's add in like maybe dust. Like a little bit of a dust coming out of it. Uh, I don't want the sound though. Uh, let me reset this. Let's go with dust again. So this one's gonna be a dust cloud. Let's see how this goes. Yes, we could have a little bit of a dust cloud. Yeah, I think this should work. This should work. Let me add it in here. Are you sleepy? What time is it where you are uh, where you're living, Fox? All right, let's see how that looks. Oh god, there we go, perfect. 
Hey Dante, welcome buddy, welcome, welcome. All right, hmm. Do you guys like that dust? I, I don't know what to say about that dust. It feels a little bit weird. Maybe it's a little bit too much though. Hmm. Not sure exactly what to say about it. It's only gonna be a uh, PlayStation, buddy. Dreams is only available on the PlayStation. I think in order to make this look a little bit better, what I should do instead is just jump into uh, here and make it fully black. Yeah, this may actually look a little bit better if I make it black. So let me go back inside. Because now the dust is not gonna be as visible, right? Oh my god, this looks actually really, really scary. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna leave the dust over there. Because now it definitely makes sense. It's completely black. Just like that. Um, okay. Other than this, we have to add in the clouds at the top. Another thing that we gotta add, of course. So let me go ahead and bring those over. What am I doing? I'm uh, doing the RV camp here. As you guys can see, it is completely done so far. I'm definitely going to be adding a few more details here and there to make this place feel more alive. Um, at the moment, I'm working on the cave entrance here for the RV area. Let me go ahead and add in the clouds, though. Let me see if I can find them into my inventory. I have so many things that I've saved here. Sometimes it's really difficult to find what I'm looking for. Intersection, ski. Clouds. There we go. We got the clouds. Perfect. Uh, so we want these ones like about yay high, maybe? Yeah, I think that, sh that does the job. Uh, Aiden, this is called Dreams, buddy. If you're searching it on the PlayStation, you're going to be able to find Dreams on the PlayStation. All right, I think the, the trees are at the uh, right angle here. So let me go ahead and add a few more. Let's go ahead and add another one here. Rotate, perfect. Let me grab me these two trees and uh, group them up. No, not trees, but more like, I wanted to say clouds. A few more over here. few more on this side as well and another over here your first stream thank you everybody for joining thank you and welcome 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 to your very first stream it's not a sneaky Sasquatch stream, but I'm definitely going to be doing uh, some of those as well. All right, uh, let me go ahead and block uh, to do the clouds because I don't want to accidentally use them or move them around. They should be looking just great right now as they are. Let's test it out. Oh yeah, there we go. They look great. All right, this one is working. Uh, it's a little bit messed up that we're not gonna be able to go inside this RV camp here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, this guy's fast. Come on, buddy, I was just trying to go to the RV camp. <laughs> Leave me alone. It is gonna be pretty difficult to get rid of uh, these rangers chasing us for sure. I guess the easiest way to get rid of them is just gonna be us uh, going outside the zone. For some reason, he keeps on getting stuck into these things. Yeah, look at that. Almost got me. <laughs> Leave me alone, buddy. He almost got me again. He jumps so weirdly for some reason. Look at that. He got me eventually. <laughs> gotcha. I love the SpongeBob chase music. I love that you recognize that uh, terminal YouTube. Yeah, that is the SpongeBob music that has been created by somebody in uh, Dreams here. Can we also do voice chat or just text chat? I'm never gonna activate voice chat in the uh, live streams just because I feel like there's a lot of spammers and I don't want people uh, cursing or doing stuff that I'm not gonna be okay with during my live stream. So that's not gonna be something I'm gonna be act activating into my live streams. 
I don't want to be policing people around, so yeah. I just want to make these live streams fun for everybody instead of just policing it. At the moment, we do have uh, two members. There are uh, not members, actually, moderators. They are popping up here and there trying to solve some issues, such as Braxton taking care of that uh, dude with his Tinder thing. But uh, hopefully, I'm going to figure out who that is and uh, how to block it and get rid of them. It's annoying because although I do block them, I think all they do is just uh, keep on making multiple accounts. I think they're bots, right? And bots are usually just keep on making multiple accounts over and over again. It's quite impossible to get rid of all of them. Hopefully YouTube is gonna find a workaround and uh, fix these issues eventually because it's up to them to fix them, not us. Alright, let me get myself a few more of these grass patches around. I'm just trying to fill up the area with uh, a few more things here and there. Just to uh, make this place look more interesting. And of course, the more things, the more nature stuff like plants and bushes and stuff we add around here is definitely going to give so much more life to this area than it already has. Am I going to put the map pieces at the end? Yes, that's kind of my plan on the entire story mode of the game that I'm building. Uh, it is going to be about us trying to collect the treasure. And at the end, that's how we put Mr. Pimpleton behind bars. Uh, I'm not going to have him playing golf with us or anything like it because I don't really want to spend too much time into building uh, Tiny Sasquatch here. Although I've already spent uh, a year and uh, I guess a year and a half or maybe no, a little bit less than a year and a half. So I don't want to spend all my life trying to make this game um i do eventually want to release it so that you guys can uh, go ahead and enjoy it if you want to oh formula one i'm not really a formula one fan so i'm not watching a, uh, any formula one videos myself uh, okay so let me add in a few more of these bushes then Actually, I'm not. Not that I'm not a Formula One fan. I'm not really a sports fan at all. I don't want any. I don't watch any sports. I don't watch football. I don't watch uh, American football. I don't watch golf. I don't watch anything. I'm kind of boring. I know. <laughs> you should do the Sasquatch home and the duck. I have every single one of them, buddy, including the uh, raccoon's home for sure. Right, so we got a few bushes here. As you guys can see, the thermal are kind, the gameplay thermal are kind of increasing. They are already at seventy-seven percent. Um, I mean, I would watch sports like baseball and other things if I would enjoy it. I'm just not a fan of sports. I'm just not liking sports at all. I know there are also people watching wrestling, but wrestling, I find wrestling to be um, one of the most annoying sports ever. If you can actually consider that sport, that's more like a uh, theater. Because everything happening in wrestling is just so theatrical. I just cannot take wrestling at all. I cannot take serious that thing. Um, Alright, I think this kind of looks okay. Now, as I was saying, we do want to have a few things happening, right? Uh, we want to expand this area a little bit. I'm not going to do the second part of the RV... Uh, right now because that one is only going to be visible from this side but in order for it to be visible we got to build it up a little bit so let me jump into uh, camera two over here and also grab me the rest the next rv camp because i want to build this area so that at least we can see it from the distance i'm not going to finish building it but at least i want to see it from the distance right so uh the way i'm going to do this is i'm going to have this but next up, we're going to have a lot of path. Uh, so let me grab these ones. And the grass, I guess. These ones as well. There we go. Expand the path. Just like that. Uh, 
the thing about this path is that it is gonna curve out a little bit to the right, so... I think I gotta go in a little bit deeper. Through here. Hey, Hammer Studios! Welcome, buddy! Welcome to the live stream! I'm doing pretty well, buddy. Pretty well so far, trying to, uh... Still figure out the, uh, live streaming. I've been streaming for... Quite a long time now. I think I've been uh, started doing live streams about a year ago. I'm still not getting the. Uh, I'm still not perfect at it. I'm still learning, I guess. <laughs> but I will eventually figure it out much, much better. All right. I can't stay long. I'm going to hike with my family. Oh, that is so cool, buddy. Where are you going hiking? Are you going up the mountain or something like that? Because that is amazing if you do. All right, let me keep on expanding this one, uh, I guess, up to this side next. This is going to need to be a corner over here that I'm going to be uh, needing to add. So let me go ahead and add in the corners. Your videos also make me smile or laugh. Thank you very much, buddy. It's really happy to hear that. That's kind of the goal of uh, these videos that I'm making, right? To at least give you guys a little bit of a happy place. So just uh, join in and uh, enjoy yourselves. If you're having a bad day, come on over and uh, have a wonderful day on the streams here. Or in, even the videos, of course. Not only the live streams. When I started making uh, the YouTube channel, it was the main focus, of course, was to make videos. And then I started focusing a little bit on making also live streams because I saw you guys are really, really enjoying it. Also, it's pretty fun to have some of the community and the fans joining in while you are uh, building some of these walls and playing. So, yeah, for sure. Uh, wasn't in the plan to make live streams, but eventually got something that I uh, really wanted to do since uh, you guys really, really enjoyed it. And when I'm saying guys, I mean guys and girls. Don't take it personal or anything. It's just the way I am uh, usually speaking. Me personally, I'm a huge, huge fan of uh, survival, America survival. Not the uh, we also have survival Romania, but it's really, really bad. Uh, but I'm a huge fan of uh, survival USA. It is just so, so good. The, the social aspect of that game, uh, it's so good. I absolutely love that show. And I'm always watching it with my fiance. We we really really love it. All right, so this path is gonna curve a little bit right. Uh, I know that it should be a little bit curvier instead of a, like a uh, ninety degrees curve. Um, but I feel like in order to do that, I will need to up uh, to update some of these tiles, and I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to just leave it like this. I guess I, I guess I'm gonna have to wait and see. Maybe we are gonna curve it out eventually. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, for now, let me just bring this one over, and another one that's gonna be coming over here, and it's gonna be closing up the entire thing. So that's gonna be going like that. That's also gonna be going like that. Uh, I'm doing the second part of the RV camp. I just want to start it up a little bit so that we can actually see it from the uh, first ones. What I want to do with this one is, hold up, let me grab this. Let me switch it like this. And now it's probably going to be merging a little bit better. I don't know. Hopefully. It is not, but that's fine. Alright, so we tied all of these together. Perfect. Um, let me keep on expanding this all the way to here. Alright, so that's going to be the curved part or the RV camp going a little bit to the right there. Nah, just hiking in the woods. Maybe sometime we'll go hiking in the mountains. I'm actually planning on going hiking a little bit, uh, maybe this summer, hopefully. Um, in Switzerland. Uh, me personally, I'm absolutely in love with Switzerland and uh, Austria and the Dolomites in Italy. So I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, I am planning on doing maybe like a vlog style videos that I did when I went to Dubai. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to wait and see, but I'm really, really excited. If I'm gonna be able to do that, that's gonna be awesome. Um, okay, now all I gotta do is keep on adding some more of these grassy elements. 
right? We got these two. They got to keep on coming over here. Let me leave them a little bit over there. Get rid of that because we are going to have to expand these trees a little bit to the side. There we go. This one needs to go here. Um, so now, we, before we're going to go to the RV camp, we are going to be able to at least see a little bit of the RV, right? Uh, the graphics are kind of increasing a lot as I keep on adding a lot of elements here. I'm not sure exactly how much I'm going to be able to add before the, act, the graphics, uh, the thermals are going to go insane. Remove these two for now. And keep on adding more trees to the side. Like that. That's gonna have to go here, here, and then I guess you can keep on expanding it on this side. Right? Wrap these ones over. And again, there we go. Right. Um, so these trees. All right, we are currently going to 85 degrees. Um, every five percent actually. That's kind of bad. Uh, pretty sure we are going to be able to eventually figure it out. I did say that I don't want to get too much into the second RV area here, but we're already doing that. <laughs> I mean, one thing that I can do is just decrease the quality of the second RV cam that we're adding on this side. And that way we're probably gonna get ourselves maybe some of the gameplay memory back, I don't know. All right, uh, just to close this in, of course, we are gonna need to have, I think I'm gonna have to have some of these mountains coming up to this side a little bit, uh, and also some trees. So at least not be able to see what's happening in the distance, right? Right. So let me go ahead and close this up with all these trees. Just like that. Grab all these trees again and bring them over to this side. And rotate them 90 degrees. Wait, PewDiePie hates Norway? I mean, isn't he Norve Norwegian? He is, right? I mean, if you are Norwegian, I guess you are allowed to hate your own country if you don't like it. <laughs> You're allowed to hate it. Don't worry about it. Everybody has uh, is entitled to its own opinion. All right, let's go with that. As I was saying, go with this over here. Uh, we got to expand the grass here a couple of times as well. Oh, he's Swedish. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, the neighbor is... Uh... Yeah, you're right. He is Swedish. I don't know. I've never been to Sweden or Norway, but I would absolutely love to visit uh, these two places. I feel like... They have some uh, Norway and Sweden, both of them, and Finland as well, have some really impressive uh, locations that people should visit at least once in life. All right, and lastly, as I was saying, we got to go ahead and try to copy paste um, all this stuff. The mountains here, if I manage to copy paste these ones and close the back there, that would be amazing. Let me see if I missed anything. I don't think actually we did, yeah. Okay, never mind. There we go. What about now? Uh, I guess we good. I guess we good. All right, let's see how this goes. So if I bring this one over to the side, it should probably be a little bit better, right? Allow me to finish this area up a little bit faster. Now I don't see that increasing at all though, so that is perfect. I'm not going to focus on too many details, as I was saying, this is only going to be visible from the distance. So let me remove all of this. From over 
here. Nori was the richest land in the world? Seriously? I mean, isn't Norway, or actually is it Finland? I'm gonna get them confused, I know about it. Uh, isn't the Vikings, aren't the Vikings coming from Norway or Finland? Because I know the island where the Vikings are coming from, they didn't really have that much uh, possibility of uh, cultivating in there. That's why they were really, really interested in uh, visiting other locations, right? And that's why I'm guessing they eventually attacked uh, UK. Norway. Vikings, Norway, Sweden. Okay, okay. I actually saw uh, the uh, the game show. Not the game show, actually. The TV show, Vikings. I really, really loved it. Really, really good. Alright. Let me grab a few more of these ones over here. I definitely have to visit Finland eventually one day. Definitely have to visit it. Alright, let me remove these ones. Alright, if I check it, it's at 90, uh, 90 graphics memory. Uh, I don't want to be able to see those mountains blocking up like this eventually, but I am going to fix that up. First of all, we got to block this up with more grass. More grass over here. More and close this up like that. Ah, it wasn't the riches because of oil. I get it, I get it. Okay. It makes sense for sure. Doesn't doesn't the Norway have any more oil anymore? I mean, I guess uh, when you're having a huge land, you have a lot of oil. That's why also Russia has a lot of oil, right? America as well. And United Arab areas, right? Like the United Arab areas, but more like the um, desert areas. All right, perfect. Uh, we're definitely going to have to add more things over here. But this, as I was saying, this is only going to be visible. Uh, from this side as we're making our way in, right? I don't really want to add too many details back there. Have you ha have you tried the new sculpt to paint tool and will it help with thermal? I haven't tried it yet. Uh, I did try the new sculpt tool with the paint mode, yes. Uh, if you are making stuff in the... Oh god, this guy's chasing me. Hold up, let me let him catch me. Um, if you are making that, I guess in the distance, it would definitely make sense, right? It would definitely help with the thermal. Uh, for example, if I do try to uh, make those ones, uh, those trees in the back there into paint mode instead of uh, actual sculpt, I guess it would definitely hurt, uh, help. I'm pretty sure about it. Let me actually try it. I don't know. Let's just try it a little bit. So, for example, we have this sculpt, right? If I select it and I transform it into paint mode, uh, I didn't notice anything happening. Hold up, let me actually select multiple of them. Let me grab that, that, that. Yeah, let me grab a couple of these trees around. And see if we can transform them into paint modes and see if that's gonna help. So at the moment it is at 90% uh, paint mode. Cannot convert, will result in too many flex on one painting. Aha. Uh -huh. Um. So I'm guessing all I gotta do then is just deselect these ones. Let me just make a few of them then, and then we're gonna maybe copy paste them. Let me just grab this one, make it in paint modes. Okay. Let me go ahead and remove these ones. Just like that. All right. So we're currently at 84%, right? But what if I copy paste the paint mode here? Uh, let's see how it looks from the distance first of all. I mean, this definitely makes sense, right? To see it in paint mode from the distance, for sure. Um, so we have this one. Let's see, 84%. What if I copy-paste a couple of times? So this is not longer a sculpt, right? This is only paint. How is it going to look if you place it a couple of times? Let's see. 
That was a really great suggestion, uh, Mr. MPA31. Thank you. We definitely have to try to uh, improve our thermals here. And I think this may actually be really, really good, especially when you're making stuff in the distance, for sure. That you don't really have, uh, you don't really want to have too many details on, right? All right, and if you're looking at this now, look at that, 85% instead of 90. Definitely, definitely a good solution. So thank you very much for that, uh, Mr. MPA. That definitely helps, for sure. Uh, so if I check it out from the distance, oh yeah, oh yeah, this looks awesome. This is definitely the way to go. Now, what you can actually go ahead and have, if you want to have like a lot of details, right? You can go ahead and have these trees in the front here, uh, having like, of course, the sculpt, but then you can go into the ones at the back here, such as these ones, and replace these ones with the paint. Let's see how this looks. So let me grab three of them, bring them over here, just like that to fill this up. And now, Let's see how it looks. Uh, I gotta pay attention because that ranger is gonna see me. All right, and now if you check it out, okay, that is not bad. Of course, you can kind of see the ones that you place that have um, paint on, but I do believe it's still good enough. As long as the one in front are gonna be sculpts, I think we're good. Yeah, I think this should actually be a really great way uh, to save some of the uh, thermal here for sure. We're currently at 83%. So this is definitely a great solution if you're trying to get some thermal back, for sure. Yeah, thank you very much for the uh, suggestion, Jeb, Mr. MPA. That is definitely something we got to focus on. Now, as I was saying, I also try to use that strategy, right? The um, transforming a shape into paint. And I actually do use that strategy to make um, this right over here, which, of course, are puddles. Absolutely love making puddles in the game. Uh, and now with the way of uh, transforming shapes into paint, it's just so easy to make puddles. And they look so realistic as well. Of course, this puddle has uh, some blocks on it. Uh, you may want to make these uh, these puddles right uh, cut straight at the top so that it's a straight puddle. Uh, the thing is, of course, that's going to make it a little bit more realistic because water is kind of straight. But the, way, the reason I'm leaving it like this is because um, the way the, the light shines on it, it's definitely making it look so much more interesting. Another thing that, of course, that you want to add to these puddles um, is going to be... Oh, God. <laughs> Another thing that you want to add to these puddles is, of course, going to be um, uh, the water ripples, right? When Sasquatch runs on them, you want to have the water ripples and also the water effects. And I absolutely love adding these puddles. I'm definitely gonna be adding more of these puddles into the game just because it's just a small detail, but I absolutely love details into the game. And making these puddles is really easy. I'm gonna make a tutorial on how to make it. If you guys want to see that, let me know down in the chat below, why not? I'm definitely gonna be making a, um, a guide on how to make these uh, puddles for sure. All right, so we solved that part. Um, another thing that we can actually do here let me try. Uh, let me try to use that on these things as well. Let's just see how uh, how the paint mold on the sculpts here is gonna work as well. I'm not quite sure exactly. Let's see. Ooh, hmm, not bad. Let's test it out from the distance. You know what? That is actually really good. And again, that's probably gonna allow us to save a lot of graphics. Pretty sure about it. Let's just test it out. Oh yeah, look at that. That actually looks really, really good. And of course, another thing that you can do with all these uh, paints that you're doing here, right? This is gonna be only one paint. Uh, actually, yeah, this is only one paint over here. Let me also get these ones to be paint. This one can also be paint. Another thing that you can do with all these paints, for example, this one, I can jump into the settings of it and make it a little bit uh, stretched. Okay, I kind of like that actually. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let me make all of it then into paint. All right, let me try to select as many as I can. And turn all of it into paint. What is the objective? Uh, objective of what? Of what I'm trying to build here? <laughs> or uh, what? At the moment, I haven't really tied all the quests together, so I'm not really having a uh, entire storyline into the game. I'm definitely gonna have to work on that as uh, a little bit more. But at the moment, I just want to finish up the entire world. I do want to add a few more logics, and that's about it. Eri, welcome, buddy. Welcome to the live stream. Hold up, let me try to tie 
these ones in as well. All right, and tie these ones into one sculpt. That is awesome. Let me see if I can add more actually before I uh, make it into a sculpt. Yes, we can, perfect, and more. I don't know how many is gonna allow me to keep on adding, but I'm gonna try to collect all of these ones, except for that one actually, into a sculpt. All right, keeps on allowing me, awesome. Let me grab some from the back here as well. And I think I got them all. Yeah, yeah, we definitely got them all. Uh, let me make sure I didn't get any from that side. No, we didn't. All right, so this one's going to be a skull from the distance. As again, as I was saying, let me go into the settings. Get these ones to be like that. Uh, I would like to make them a little bit smaller if I could, though. Yeah, I think that's fine. That's fine. All right. What are you building? Oh, we're building? We're building the uh, RV camp, buddy. And look at that. We already see the sculpts in the uh, background there. They are looking like a mountainside, which is absolutely great. And uh, the great thing about it is that you guys can see that we are now at 82% graphics. Oh, man, this is such a great way to save graphics turbo. So, yeah, the, the, the brand new update in Dreams is definitely helping us build so much more that we could have not built before, for sure. I absolutely love this. And, of course, if I want to get this one going, the mountain, right? We can just get ourselves this mountain side and paste it over here so that we can uh, also block this side. Just in case anybody wants to uh, look at the mountain from the distance and uh, spot any issues, they're not going to be able to see it because they're going to be blocked by this side of the mountain over here. Just like that. There we go. That is so good. Love it. Will the game be playable for everyone? Yes, everyone can uh, play it. Uh, members are going to be able to play this one a little bit sooner than everybody else. But uh, I'm not going to pronounce myself and say when it's going to be over because I'm still working hard on it. I'm still going to have a lot of work to do here before I'm going to be able to release this one uh, to the public. Let me just add a few more trees here just uh, just for the sakes of it. Why not? Just like that. Add a few more trees, maybe like over here. The grass there kind of changed the color a little bit as we transformed this one, but that is fine. All right, another thing that we got to add, of course, are going to be my own trees, which are these ones. Because these are uh, making the background there looks so much more interesting and these ones are not really adding that much graphics issues for us because this is just one simple sculpt without any uh without much detail so that is just good all right perfect that is done and look at that we can see on the other side right we still have a little bit more gameplay here we can use in order to add a few more elements in the back there uh, that i will definitely add let's just see what else we got to add here though um, I think that is kind of about everything on this side. Um, let me switch back to here. Oh, you know what I got adds? We're also going to need a potty potty over there, right? So let me bring this guy over this side. Put this one over here as well. Again, similar with the other ones, I think you can easily select this one and transform it into hmm, too many flex in one painting. Uh, in that case, let me jump into it. Select all of them. No. Uh, I guess you gotta deselect a few of them, eh? Wait, what? So can I not select this one and turn it into a flex? No. Anyway, I guess I'm gonna leave it as is. Whatever. Uh, what I can do to it, I can definitely decrease the quality, I guess, in order to get some of the uh, memory back. There we go. Alright. Uh, so, we can see that one from the distance. What else do we got to see here from the distance? I mean, one important thing that we should be able to see from the distance... We should be able to see the small pond on the left side, I do believe. Yeah, I think that should be something really important that we should add. Um, so, first of all, 
Let me also go ahead and grab me these ones. Bring them over here. No, Dreams is not available only, only for uh, VR. No, you can play Dreams without VR as well. So I'm not sure why it's telling you that, but you can also play without VR. I'm not using VR, as you can see. I'm just using a controller and that's it. You don't need the VR to play it. And the great thing about Dreams is that you can always go ahead and play other games that other creators, other Dreamers have uh, made, not just the ones that... Uh, Not just this one that I'm making here, right? You can always go ahead and play anything you want. Ooh, we can also convert these ones into bushes. Awesome. And reduce minus two. Perfect. Uh, let me go back to here. Make these bushes a little bit more like that. And let me reduce them a couple of times. Man, this is so much better now. Now we're gonna be. Now we're not gonna be uh, worried about the thermos anymore. We can definitely apply this strategy for other. Uh, other scenes, if I want to get more stuff done, I guess. Uh, let's get this one over here. Just like that. Perfect. Uh, let me grab a few more of these trees. Maybe bring them over to this side. Why not? Just like that. That's only going to be visible from the distance. Uh, as I was saying, we do have to have a lake over here. But at the same time, I also want to have this bad boy coming over. Um, now, the thing is, we may need to go inside. Um, we may need to go inside this van. The problem about this van is that we cannot really go inside it. Uh, the interior of this van is not existent, right? This one is a full uh, block. Um, so I may just want to add me this one, this RV instead. And bring it over to this side. Maybe I'm going to just paint it to blue instead. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Because I've already done the interior of this one. Everything is working perfectly instead of just uh, making a big one from the scratch. So let me just get this guy turned a little bit like that to be a little bit different, I guess. Get it over here. Uh, we are at 83%. We're good. Don't worry about it. We do have to make it blue, though. So the way I'm going to do this is just simply go inside it. Uh, choose this color. Go with this blue. Yeah, maybe this blue. And let's see how we can properly paint, paint this. I wish there was a way to just select and get rid of all the... All the yellow, right? And re replace all that yellow with something else. Uh, and not the white either, only the yellow. That would be great if you could do that. All right, that's been done. Perfect. I'll also have to look in the interior, make sure the interior is also properly painted. I'm trying to switch the color here. Let's also get the doorway. There we go. Go. All right, that was awesome. Let's go on with this one a little bit as well. I love that I said that I don't want to put too many details into uh, <laughs> the second campground here, but I'm already putting so many details into it. Alright, awesome. I want to try to paint this, but for some reason I cannot select it. There we go. Finally, we got it. All right, let's fix this up all the way to the back. I'm also going to have to go inside and make sure we're getting everything inside there as well. We'll add it. All right, anything inside good? No, we have to paint at the bottom here as well by the looks of it. All right, buddy. There we go. 
to end up hitting the uh, white part. Why am I not selecting it? There we go. Uh, I think there's a yellow part over here that's not allowing me to. I think it's probably this one. Yeah, hold up. Let me switch to this one. Get this one painted up. Uh, this cube is probably not set up properly. Hold up. Let me go ahead and uh, go into this tool over here. Nice. Much better like that. Alright, fix that up. Nope. A little bit this way. Now, by changing the color of this RV, although it's not the same color as the other one, uh, we're actually adding quite a bit of uh, graphics memory here, but thankfully we do have enough graphics memory to work with. Now, why can I not add this one, though? Yeah, this is the one that I wanted to paint here. For some reason, I couldn't. Are we done? Yes, we are. All right. Uh, let me put this black block back on. At the bottom like that. I think it needs to be a little bit lower. Uh, raised up. Yep. Alright, there we go. We changed the look of uh, the RV. Perfect. And this one's going to be where we're going to be able to get myself a uh, mission, right? So we're going to have to figure out how this is going to work. Uh, and lastly, we got to add, as I was saying, a little bit of a lake over here. I think we already have that one added. Uh, I don't have a cat, buddy, no. I don't have a cat, no. I'm not really a cat person, though. That's why I never got one. I'm more like a dog person, but at, though, although I'm saying this, I don't even have a dog either. Having an animal is a huge responsibility, so I really appreciate people uh, getting animals, either dogs or... Uh, cats, it doesn't matter. It is a huge responsibility. Alright. Let's also get rid of these two. And... I don't have any pets. No, I used to have a dog when I <clears throat> when I used to be a kid, but I don't have a uh, pet anymore, no. You should make a build, a billboard for all the members. I already have a billboard for all the members in the game, uh, Braxton. Uh, I actually already added that one into the uh, into the town. All right, so this one should be here. But I gotta do a couple of things. Uh, I gotta get rid of. Hold up, buddy. What am I doing? Gotta get this one going like that, I guess. A little bit higher. I'm also planning a little bit uh, something a little bit special for the members that um, if you are gonna know how to activate, you're gonna be able to see it. But if you don't know how to activate, you're not gonna be able to see it. Uh, again, I'm not gonna want to spoil it or anything because I want people to just find it on their own if they manage to. Me personally, I absolutely love uh, secrets in games. That's why I keep on adding so many secrets to this game. All right, let's do that. Next up, let me make a hole through here so that we can see the lake that we just uh, created. And this one's gonna be a that, and the color is gonna be green. Uh, right over here. Wait, the problem is I cannot really figure out where the lake is, so let me go ahead and raise up the lake first of all. Seriously, buddy? Alright, so that's gonna be the grass that I'm gonna wanna see available. Um, I also wanna see the dirt. Alright, just like that, perfect. This way, we know what we should make holes into, right? So this one is gonna go like this a little bit, I guess. And we're just making this one, I guess, for fun now, because... We are going to have to redo this area. Now I just want to have a little bit of a visual from the other campgrounds. So it doesn't have to be perfect. All 
right? Let's also make some holes in here while we add it. Actually, hold up, just like that. There we go, perfect. Hey Milka, please tell me if the uh, the cat is gonna respond if she hears my name. Milka, <laughs> hey Milka, come here Milka, Milka. <laughs> that would be amazing if she just start reacting. All right, uh, I have to say your tiny Sasquatch is turning into, it's turning out fabulous. Thank you, buddy. Thank you very much for that. I'm trying my best to uh, make it look as beautiful as possible for sure. All right, next up, let's bring over the water. And I think I can easily just remove that part. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna just transform this one into that. There we go, we got water. That looks awesome. And of course, that gave us minus 10, which is great. Uh, so now, if you're looking from the distance, you can see part of the lake. Uh, so it doesn't have to be detailed, that's what I didn't want it to be detailed because we know that we're not gonna be able to access it from here, right? Uh, I could do the same thing for the RV in the background there. Uh, what I'm also going to do with the RV here, this thing, let me just disable these ones. These are for the windows. Uh, the thing about the latest update in the in the uh, in Dreams here is that now you don't have to use text uh, text displayers in order to make windows. You can actually place a simple block and uh, get that one into paint and then make it transparent. That's the way to go. Braxton, your iPad is on 6%. <laughs> Love it. The cat is reacting. That is awesome. <laughs> All right, so now we don't see those uh, black things anymore. Perfect. Um, yeah, I think that is kind of going to be about it on this side. As I was saying, I don't want to add too many details. Uh, but the thing is, look at that. The gameplay memory and the graphics were still good on it. So, yeah, that's really fun. This means we can definitely add a few more details, I guess. And also transform every single one of these details into paint so that we don't uh, fill it up with stuff we don't want to. Uh, let's also add some of these trees random around here as well while we add it. Just like that, one over there, maybe like a few over here. These trees can also be added in like that. Look at this, this is so good. This is gonna save so much of our thermal, love it. A little bit over there. Uh, what I don't have, and I'm definitely gonna add, wanna add, maybe like an apple tree over here. I don't know if I'm gonna tie it in with, uh, as a quest with the other quest, but anyway. Maybe. It would be great if I could figure out how to make a photo mode into a uh, tiny Sasquatch here. All right, so now it definitely looks much, much better. Uh, another thing that we wanna add are gonna be some of these signs, right? We're gonna have sign C. That's gonna be going right about here. And they're also gonna have sign D. That's gonna be going around here. Now, you don't wanna go too crazy with the paint modes either because as you guys can see, it is glitching out a little bit at one point if you have too many uh, paints. All right, this one's gonna be saying, as I was saying, um, C, I guess. So let me go with C over here. And also C over here. And we're also gonna have D on this one. There we go, and another D on this one. All 
right, awesome, that looks great. Uh, another detail that we gotta add, of course, is gonna be, uh, doo -doo -doo. I guess we gotta copy paste this stuff as well, if I'm, to be honest. So we're gonna want one right over here. I think just like that. Uh, remove that, 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 and that. Perfect. Uh, we also want to do the same up here. But for this one, we're going to have to remove these ones and replace with this. Hmm. Can I remove those ones? Actually, we can remove these ones instead. Nah, this one's just going to be another block that I'm going to have to manually make my own, I guess. Yeah, I think I'm going to just cut through this one manually. So let me try to do it right now. Uh, let me grab, actually, don't need that tool. Dang it, I hate it when it does that. I think the easiest way is to just simply remove this out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, and now we can cut through it. All right, let's figure this out. It's gonna be a huge hole over there. It's gonna be going into this one eventually. Maybe like right about here. There we go. Uh, let me carry on with the hole on this side a little bit. And eventually this one's gonna carry on right here. Seriously? I wanna, where is this one from? There we go, we got, ah, uh, we didn't get it. Uh, there we go, we got it. And also fix it up here. All right, and now if I bring this guy over, much better. Uh, pull it down to sit on the actual dirt, just like that. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Um, we also are gonna need another fire so that we can see from the distance, I guess. So let me bring another fire pit over here. Again, I'm just randomly placing these ones. I'm not really paying that much attention, at least on this side of the RV camp. We're definitely gonna focus more on the details as I uh, try to uh, make it as a brand new location. But for now, this should be all good. Uh, let's also bring in these bushes, right? Yeah, we definitely need some of these bushes as well over here. So let's do that. That and a little bit of that. Get rid of these ones. And quite a couple of bushes here. To the back of it. Another one over here. Alright, and it's looking so much better now. Okay, that is so good. So, so much better. Oh yeah, now it's definitely looking like we're going inside the next area, right? Which is going to be, of course, campground, the next campground. Um, the bigger details, of course, we're only going to have on this side. Uh, I love it that we have this thing working, as you guys can see. All I got to add is just a little bit of food there that we can steal. I think what I'm going to what I'm gonna be doing here, I think I'm going to be maybe making myself uh, the ability to steal stuff from here. But if this fella sees me, he's going to call the rangers on me, right? So we got to be a little bit stealthy. Also, if this fella sees me going inside here, again, he's going to call the rangers. Another thing that I want to do... Now, what do you guys think? Do you guys like the camera working like this? Whenever Sasquatch is going inside this, uh, you can only see him from the uh, from the windows. Or would you like the camera to just move on inside the actual RV like this? What do you guys think? Because it's pretty easy to do. All I got to do is just enter inside this thing, inside the van. Uh, select these things. Let me see if I can actually. All right, and over here, all I got to do is just uh, change the camera to always. So now when I go inside, boom, it automatically gets me inside it. I mean, it's pretty cool that you can actually see everything through the windows outside, eh? <laughs> also, the noise, you cannot really hear the, uh, the sounds from outside. They are a little bit muffled. Yeah, you guys are seeing inside. Okay, okay, I guess they're definitely going to make it inside then. Boom, automatically going inside. Perfect. 
much better like this. Yeah, I think uh, you guys are on track here. Definitely make it inside. Okay. Uh, in that case, I think I think we kind of got everything that we needed to uh, build up in the world so far. Uh, we are gonna have some of these coins scattered about into the game. Uh, this one is going. Yeah, I think that's kind of the right dimension. I think I want to have this one like 75 degrees, like this. So that it's not too big, right? I don't want it to be too big or either too small. Um, I am going to be scattering about some of these coins uh, into the world so that people are going to have to uh, search for them if they want to collect every single one of them. Or at least at least collect a few of them, right? If they need a little bit of a boost. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. What? Why am I going down? I just want to get this coin and bring it like right over here, hide it on this corner. So we have one coin over there, let's say. We got another coin maybe hiding like about all the way to the back here. I mean, we already have a digging hole that's going to give us money, so I'm not going to hide a coin in there. Uh, let's maybe hide another coin like back here. This way we encourage people to kind of navigate, right, to explore the maps uh, in order to find these coins. I'm also going to be hiding some collectibles in the game that people are going to be able to find if they figure out how to do it properly. Um, I think there's going to be only two coins in this one. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we're going to have to wait and see. So now, of course, we don't have any more digging holes here. Uh, we are going to have a coin. I'm probably going to place another coin inside the RV over there as well. Why not? Maybe place it like inside another one of those uh, coolers. I'm from Romania, buddy. Wait, why is the animation not working for the dingy hole? That was weird. Why did that just happen? Uh, let me bring the digging hole again. I'm not quite sure exactly what happened there. I'm pretty sure the digging hole was working, right? But for some reason, it glitched out. Uh, so bring this one over. Here, make it smaller though. Just like that. Alright, let's test that out again. Not sure exactly what happened there. Alright, and now if I test this out, it is working perfectly. So that was a uh, glitch. I'm not quite sure exactly what happened there, but that's fine. Look at that. We got a sack of coins. Awesome. Perfect. So that works. Uh, the bear works. We got the sound for the cave working perfectly. Um, yeah. What more do you guys, uh, what more do you guys want? I think uh, we actually got everything working exactly as it should. And I am pretty happy with uh, the work we have done in today's live stream. And of course, the coins as well that we can go ahead and collect, which is, first of all, this. You can also see the number there popping up, which I absolutely love. And I think I placed another coin. Uh, where did I place it? Did I place it back here? Oh, yeah. Back in the bushes. I didn't even see it. That was a great spot to hide it, eh? Look at that. We got two coins. And, of course, I can always go ahead and add another one uh, over here. Now, one thing that I'm trying to figure out how to do, and I'm not quite sure exactly how to do it right at the moment. I'm trying to figure out how to get these coins. I mean... At the moment, once you collect them, they are disappearing, right? But I want to make sure they're not going to spawn back in once you leave the area and come back. Because at the moment, if I do leave the area and come back, these coins are going to spawn in. Uh, so I got to make sure you're only going to be able to grab these coins once. And um, that is about it. Another thing that I'm going to probably be doing here, I'm probably going to be locking this um, door up. And in order to go ahead and collect yourself that coin from inside there, you are going to have to do a little bit of a sneaking around. So you're probably going to have to do a little bit of sneaking around, coming back behind this fella, and uh, do a little bit of pickpocketing. <laughs> I don't know. That may sound funny, maybe. I don't know. Or maybe he's going to be able to only find it inside the cooler. If he looks inside the cooler, he's going to find the keys, and then he's going to be able to go ahead and open this up, and then go ahead and collect the coin. What do you guys think about that one? Don't dare to chase me. <laughs> uh, I don't understand. There's a definitely a glitch when he's jumping there. He is stopping from chasing me. Look at that. Yeah, it definitely happened again. Hmm. I gotta figure out what this glitch is all about and try to fix it. 
Oh, you know why the glitch is happening? I know exactly why it's happening, actually. Hold up. I think this glitch is happening because whenever he's jumping, uh, the detection on the character is not high enough, right? Yeah, so all we gotta do is just simply increase this cylinder and that's it, that's gonna fix it. All right, uh, another thing that we could do is of course maybe increase the size of this, just like that. And one more important thing that we can do is getting these cubes of him roaming about a little bit more apart. I think I'm gonna make a, like a trajectory that the character is gonna be uh, going around in circles inside the campground, kind of looking for stuff. And yeah, I think that's kind of what I'm gonna be doing. So now, if you check him out, he's definitely gonna be roaming around a little bit further than he was before, right? And when he's gonna be chasing me again, he is gonna definitely be able to uh, not glitch out anymore and uh, still keep on chasing me. Yeah, look at that. When he jumps, he's not glitching out anymore. Oh, actually, never mind. He did glitch out. What the heck? Hey, buddy. Are we friends? Are we friends? Come on, tell me you're friends. <laughs> Apparently, we glitched out completely. Never mind, we're back in. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what glitched out there. So whenever he's jumping... There we go, now he got me. <laughs> he was glitching out a little bit, but we finally managed to fix it up. I definitely have a little bit more work to do with uh, the um, AI here, with the uh, Rangers, to get him to be a little bit smarter. Because at the moment, I feel like they are quite dumb. <laughs> And when they are chasing me, they're not really that smart. So I will try to make them a little bit smarter. But when they are jumping, as you guys can see, they're getting so much boost. And that's allowing them to uh, catch us. So maybe uh, whenever you're running away from rangers, you should definitely try to avoid the areas where he's going to be jumping. Or he will definitely catch you really, really fast. Now, what's actually happening here, I'm pretty sure uh, it's that he's probably touching those uh, points, A and B ones, right? And those ones are the ones that are actually disabling uh, the ranger from chasing you. So one thing that I can do, uh, whenever the ranger is chasing us, this means whenever uh, C here is active, we should make sure the roaming here is going to be disabled somehow. Or maybe not the roaming, but instead we are going to be able to disable maybe the cubes, right? Um, for example, if I go ahead and get myself like a keynote over here. Uh, I go ahead and activate the invisible things. Activate them, buddy. Alright, so we have this cube, right? So this cube is going to be disabled. This cube is also going to be disabled. And this is only going to happen when C is active. This means uh, if if uh, if the ranger is going to hit this cube, it's not going to reset the system because that's what's happening at the moment, right? Whenever, when the, whenever the ranger is hitting this cube, this is resetting the system. And we don't want that to happen. So now, if I just get the ranger to chase me... Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. <laughs> he doesn't want to. Now, if the ranger is going to chase me around that cube and he's going to hit it eventually, I guess... As you guys can see, nothing happens because that cube is actually disabled. And the only way this guy is actually going to stop chasing me is if he actually catches me. Or if he loses track of me, I guess, right? Yeah, I think we can get him to lose track of me. Let me try. Let me try and see if I can get him to lose track of me. Although he is so close to me, I'm thinking it's probably going to be quite difficult to do. Oh, God. Oh, God. He got me. <laughs> and as soon as he catches me, he just goes back to that point A and then keep on roaming around point A, B, C, D, and so on. Uh, that's kind of the system that we got so far going into the game. And I feel like it's going really, really great. All right, anyway, guys, I think uh, this is going to be the end of the live stream today. Uh, I'm kind of losing my voice. We've been doing the live stream today for about four hours and a half. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed what you saw me build here. Uh, we finished building up the uh, RV camp. We still have the other side of the RV camp to finish up. Uh, and then we're going to have to focus on the next live stream. We're going to have to focus a little bit on the um, on the caves, of course. And I'm thinking of making the caves really, really fun. Um, at the moment, we only have one cave going. As you guys know, we finished up the cave at the... Um, Oh, pizza place. Yes, Fox. I'm going to show you in just a second. Uh, at the moment, we only have one cave going, of course. Uh, where do I have that cave? Uh, I mean, we have one in the mountain, but it's not finished up. And we also have another cave uh, at the campgrounds, right? Right over here. Let me check it out. But I feel like this cave, although it looks pretty interesting, of course, it's not really looking like I really want it to look. Uh, at least not the other ones. I feel like the other caves have to be looking a little bit more interesting than this one. 
I mean, this cave, in my opinion, looks pretty epic. But as I was saying, the other caves are gonna be a little bit more interesting. And by saying that, I feel like I want to make like some puzzles, some platforming things that you gotta do in there. You are gonna have to jump on some platforms, activate maybe some levers. It's gonna be more like a dungeon crawler. Maybe not like a dungeon crawler because you're not gonna fight any enemies. But it is gonna have like maybe some bats that are gonna be considered enemies in there. And if those bats are gonna hit you, they're gonna take you down. And you're gonna have to just reset your progress in there. Um, that's kind of the strategy I'm trying to do in there. Hopefully, I'm gonna get it to work. Not sure, but in the meantime, uh, let me just make my way as I was saying back into town here to show Fox and Che because uh, she did watch the live stream until the end. Just to try to show you guys uh, the um, the town, right? So I also split the town into two pieces because I was kind of having issues with the thermals here. And this is the pizza place that we have going. Papa's Pizza Tavern. <laughs> Currently, you cannot really go inside it. I haven't worked on the interior of it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be even doing that. Uh, this is just going to be the exterior building of it. This is just uh, one um, asset that I brought from Dreams and uh, brought it inside the town here. And this is kind of the entire town and how it actually looks. We also have some pedestrian walking about. Uh, we are going to be able to interact with a few of them and get some quests of them from them, of course, eventually. Uh, we do have the ability to go into the other side here, which is going to be the town. Uh, the first part of the town actually and this one's gonna be a little bit more alive uh, i still have more work to do for the second part we do have some cars going in as well as you guys can see right now <laughs> they are gonna be driving around us a little bit here uh also braxton I, I think you were the one telling me about the wall of fame there right and uh, as i was saying the wall of fame for members is something that i already implemented into the game and uh this one is gonna be visible right over here in town all the way to the side of the police station. Right over here. Look at that. Special thanks to the channel members. And as I was saying, this one is going to have a little bit of a secret. Um, if you really know how to solve the puzzle inside here. This is just going to be a visual puzzle. I'm not going to give anything uh, out. Uh, hopefully you guys are going to understand how this goes. Uh, this is going to be something that I got inspired from uh, the game called Tunic. That I uh, feature on this channel here. On a brand new series on the channel Tunic. So uh, if you're interested in trying to solve this puzzle when this is going to be released, go ahead and check that one out and hopefully you're going to figure it out. <laughs> it's going to be a really, really easy one, but you got to do a specific pattern in order for something special to open up. All right. And uh, that is kind of about everything. Of course, we also have ourselves the um, burger right over here that we opened up. We also have, as I, as I was saying, the puddles that I managed to implement to the game. And I feel like these ones are looking absolutely spectacular. Especially here in town, on the roads. They're looking so, so good. And as I was saying, we're also going to be able to make our way inside the diner. Uh, we are going to have to fix up the diner over here so that whenever we go inside it, the camera is going to automatically go inside. Uh, so that we don't see the door outside anymore, right? Uh, so hopefully I'm going to fix this one up. Uh, this one is going to be a quest where you're going to be able to deliver all the food here to the customers inside the diner. Uh, and if you do that, this hill is going to give you something you're going to need again for other quests. So there's going to be many, many quests in the game that I'm trying to build here. Many puzzles you're going to have to solve. And I'm really hoping that everybody is going to enjoy the uh, amount of work that I'm putting on this thing. Uh, although I'm not going to be making any money out of it, um, I'm just making this one because I'm really, really loving Dreams. I'm also really loving Sneaky Sasquatch. And uh, yeah, I guess we're going to have to wait and see how this goes. But anyway, guys, that being said, thank you all very much for watching. Stay safe out there. And uh, I will see you all in the next live stream coming up really soon. Also, stay tuned for some more videos and some new series uh, starting up uh, really, really soon on this channel as well. All right. Bye, everybody. And have a great, great weekend. Or at least what's left of it. <laughs> Bye, everybody.